Because the food tastes great. I mean, there's no, there's no, I mean, it's chicken. It's fried chicken. It's fried chicken. I like fried chicken. What, what do you is say internet about anyway? Internet is uh, that massive computer right. network. The one that's becoming really big now. There was me, Big Daddy Wolf. Hi, Swoopy Poopy. And my fellow gamers. You don't have to clarify anything! The Wolf Pack. Sucking on a fruit bar. We sat in the Twitch chat trying to make up our Rasudox about what to do with the stream. The streamer made dad jokes, memes, plus gatekeeping food, which is what we were watching. This would pog you up, make you ready for a bit of the old sloopy poopy. Hello, everybody. What is up? Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you may be. Thanks for checking out the stream. I hope everybody had a good weekend. <clears throat> Hello, hi. <laughs> hi, hi, hi. Hi, hi, hello. Boop, boop. Welcome, guys. How are we all doing? What is up, Serenity? What is up? <sighs> Hello. Good to see you, Silver. What's going on? Am I young? Can I? <sighs> what's up? What's up? Yo, what's up, Slopey? Hello. Good to see you, Trip. I on Slopey, Trip. Good to see you guys again. Hello. Very fun hanging out with you this weekend. Uh, what's up, Prax? Hello, 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 hello. Geo, what's going on? Welcome to the stream. Good to see you. Sirens, how we doing? Van Swagging, good to see you this weekend. Pitman, what is up? Hello. Extremely sleepy for unknown reason. I'm sorry to hear that, M. Maybe you haven't drank enough water. Maybe you didn't drink enough water. You gotta stay hydrated. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> WolvesCon 5, baby, in the books. What a weekend. What a fantastic weekend. Uh, we have just a couple of pictures to show here. Uh, to be honest, if you were active on the Discord, you probably saw some of them anyway. But, uh, yeah, it was, it was a great weekend. Very successful. We, this time around, we did a Friday, Saturday, and Sunday deal. So we had three days of goodness. Well, probably like two and a half days of goodness. But um, I'm exhausted. <laughs> I'm exhausted. Uh, that was that was a, a lot of days. But it was a ton of fun. What's up, Youper? Hello. Good to see you. Be honest, you missed me? I missed everybody that has been at WolvesCon and didn't come to this one. Yes, Em, I did. I did indeed. What's up, Marhol? Hello. Hi, Samurai. Hi, good to see you. Hello. You're still driving, Slopey? Oh, no. What's up, Ducky? Good to see you. We had a fantastic weekend. An absolute banger of a weekend. 
Uh, we started off in LBI, which is basically a beach town here in New Jersey. And then uh, we did our standard Atlantic City on Saturday all day. And then on Sunday, we did what we said we were going to do. This we woke up early, up. watched the F1 race. It was awesome. Watched the F1 race. And then we, uh, you know, headed to some disc golf and played some disc golf, which we didn't take a group picture at disc golf. And I'm sad about it. Oh, yeah, Ducky, what was your weekend like? Everybody tell me about your guys' your guys weekend and how it was. Uh, what's up, McJonesy? Thanks so much for the 14 months. It was fantastic. Hope you had a good weekend, McJonesy. Appreciate the continued support. What's going on, B. Watt? Good to see you. We saw, like, no pictures. You saw, like, I mean, there's not that many pictures, to be honest. We were all there in the moment. Slap my thigh, boys. Old sloppy. Thank you for the old sloppy bits. I think I have your bits. Let me go get your bits. All right, we're back. Old Sloppy, thank you very much for the Old Sloppy bits. Old Sloppy came to WolvesCon and actually hand-delivered me some Old Sloppy bits. Look at all these Old Sloppy bits. Look at this. I got Twitch bits IRL. Is that not fantastic? Slap my thigh. Please. Look at that. Look at that. It's like a 3D bit IRL. It's augmented reality. They actually, all of these little bits this spell out old up. sloppy. Stop. They all have, they all have letters on them. This one has an O on it. You probably could see it. Yeah. O L D. We got all the letters here. Old sloppy bits. Isn't that a fantastic noise? Fantastic noise. Yo, TJ, thank you very much. Uh, appreciate the 96 months. Thank you. TJ was at Wolf's Con as well. Skilo, thank you for the 100 bits. Every time someone gives 100 bits, I'll hold up the big bit over the alert. Oh, yes. Oh! Slap my thigh, boys. Augmented reality bits. Skilo, thank you for the other hundred bits. Thank you very much. <clears throat> Those look delicious. They are pretty tasty. They feel really cool. They feel really nice. M, don't you dare. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. TJ. <laughs> Everybody guide your eyes to TJ and Kate's name in the chat. There's a brand new eight-year sub badge. Full diamond. Full diamond. Seven and a half year badge has gone black or invisible. This would pog you up. Swinner. It's RP, 43 months. Thank you very much. Appreciate the 43 months. It's RP. Thank you. Thank you. The diamond badge. Clean. Sparkly. If you have a seven and a half year badge, it's like black now. It's like invisible. With a white outline. It's pretty sick. I think uh, Triplicata has it. Thanks, it's RP. Thank you. Thank you. Do, 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 do. What's up, Paceman GT? Yo, what's up, Cat Sensei? Hello, good to see ya. Hope you're doing well. Your shit is absolutely bussin'. 100% bussin'. What's going on, Martian? Hello, good to see ya. 
Your girl went hard. I was awake about 56 hours and not sober for any of it. Oh my gosh, Ducky. You went. Th th I said that WolvesCon was a banger of a weekend. I don't know. I don't know. That sounds like even more of a banger of a weekend. <laughs> That's awesome. I'm glad you had fun. I'm glad you had fun. Uh, yeah, so what's there to say about WolvesCon 5? I mean, I think it was the most well planned wolves con it's here's the thing it's like getting better and better each Slam year as far as like oh scam train smile here you go jack pop thank you for the bits mm, yummy bits thank you jack pop yeah every 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 year it's getting better and better and more uh slap my oh boys hi Architect, thank you very much for the 100 bits. Thank you. Now, dude, if this if this landed like up here, oh my god, that would have actually been so sick. Uh, uh yeah, we will go over some of the stuff that we did. Pretty much everything that was in the itinerary, we pretty much hit on. Um not all the food and suggested spots, of course, cuz it was only uh, at the end of the day. It was only two two full days, and then the the half day. Yeah, I'm not responsible for any of that. You did this, old sloppy. You did this. <laughs> Thanks for the hype train, guys. I appreciate it. He's gonna retire the day after he mods me. You think so, spaceman? You think that's what's gonna push me over the edge? <clears throat> All right, well, first pick to view here. We're just going to go through them. Uh, dude, I always for I always forget how to full screen on Google Chrome. I think I got it. I got it. Good to see you, Marhol. All right, yeah, so first things first, we played some spike ball. We had a beach day on Friday. We had a beach day on Friday. Oh shit, Triplicato! Thank you for the 95 months. Posted a vid in the private channel. Thank you, Trip. I appreciate it. Thank you for the tier three. Thank you for pushing the hype train over another level. <clears throat> Thanks, Trip. Uh, so yeah, we played some spike ball. We played a little bit of wiffle ball. We were honestly on the beach on Friday for what? How long? Like, f oh, by the way, guide your eyes to Trip's uh, sub badge. That is the seven and a half year sub badge. Pretty sick as well. We got a new eight year and a new seven year sub badge. Uh, but yeah, we, we spent like about four hours on the beach. This is me right here. This is uh, NB Trainer, which... NB Trainer is one of my first subscribers ever, so getting to be able to meet NB Trainer this year was a really pleasant surprise. I, I wasn't sure if he was going to come through. He had some plans uh, fall through so he could make it. He could make it to WolvesCon, and uh, yeah, it was amazing meeting NB Trainer. So me and him were actually on a team for Spike Ball, and this is VAB, Very Angry Bird right here, and his friend Dustin. So, uh, you know, we played a couple rounds of Spike Ball on the beach. <laughs> trip is toasty trip yeah we were this we spent long enough on the beach s rad thank you very much for the 62 months um we spent long enough on the beach for triple cotta to turn completely red that's a good way to put it that is a good way to put it <laughs> nb kicked my button spike ball nb was pretty good he was a good teammate he was a good teammate to have yeah i and canon you know um Old Sloppy got in there. We played a little bit. Um, Ian played. Ice played. A couple of people played some spike ball. And Triplicata, speak of the devil, did build himself a very big hole. He brought a full-blown, not a beach-sized shovel, a Home Depot-sized shovel to the beach. Uh, and did dig a very big hole. He said he wanted to dig hole, and he dug hole. And the lifeguard yelled at him. And said, this is illegal. <laughs> In the state of New Jersey, you cannot dig a hole 
deeper than your waist. What what have you done? And then she had to wait around to for everybody to fill the hole until she left because then she was then fiscally responsible for the <laughs> <laughs> She was then responsible for the hole being filled up. Uh, but yeah, pretty impressive. Pretty big hole. Pretty good. <laughs> Be what? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Triple Cotta wanted to make a TikTok of the hole. And... So the lifeguard had to just sit there and watch him make a TikTok of him pointing at the hole and saying hole. <laughs> at first she was like SMH and then like by take number four, she was laughing and having a fantastic time. Um, but yeah, good stuff. Good stuff. Um, so yeah, there's that. Here is... Oh, I didn't even realize I, I got... Uh, this is my picture here. Look at this. I spent most of the day sitting under this umbrella, as I do. But I got the plane in the background. How nice is that? But this is, of course, Wes. And this is, of course, Waldo, my two friends that did make it out to WolvesCon. Which it's awesome Wes got there because he lives in Colorado, as many of you guys know. Um, and that is Dustin, very Angry Bird's friend, that came along. Truly a beautiful moment with Trip in the Hole. We did go mini golfing. Here is uh, the first sighting of Grass Pad 33 right here in the K-State t-shirt. Uh, again, Dustin, Very Angry Bird, Triple Cotta, MB Trainer. They had a crew. We had a crew. There was a couple of crews in mini golf. The winner of the Wolves U.S. Open, the first ever WolvesCon mini golf tournament, was Wes. Wes had a stellar stellar round the first six holes Wes hit a two on each hole he did fantastic not many people can rock that wet that hat like Wes does he rocks it he rocks it pretty dang well it fits him and this was a popular short the wolves swim short was a very popular short for uh the beach which was very appropriate um here's here's a little shot at the group that was behind us. Wes was in my group, and this is Wes teeing off in his Crocs. Uh, and then in the background there, we got um, Iceberg, Vanswagon, and Ion Cannon. Thank you guys for the, the hype train. I appreciate it. <clears throat> Lindsay came in second. Really? What did she shoot? What did she shoot? Wait, why are you guys why are you guys Sag and Madge? I know I Slopey's Madge. And then here's another shot. You got had to get the waterfall there. Beautiful waterfall coming down on Settlers Mill, which is the uh course that we played in LBI. Settlers Mill. This is just another picture. This is a nice little picture of Wes with a, <laughs> a bunch of people in the background. Here's Van Swagen keeping score. Iron Cannon finishing up his putt. We got Kate over here searching for her ball. No, Kate did really well as well. I actually, where is the scorecard? I don't know. I think Kate came in second in our group, actually. I think she came in second, and then it was me, and then Waldo, maybe? I don't know. I actually might have came in last. I don't know. I didn't do very well. Um, and there's a little close-up on Waldo, Van Swaggy, Ion Cannon, and... Iceberg Slim. This is Iceberg taking a little shot. I think he got one in. I, I played as well. We each got five balls. And he made one in. And I made one in. And Kate played and got five balls and made one in. So we, were, we basically shot one for five on this thing. <clears throat> Boom shakalaka. Youper, I could assure you, nothing in the Upper Peninsula of Michigan, nothing has anything on this ma very much man-made mini golf uh, waterfall. 
I know this is like a natural beauty right here, and I know, you know, nothing, nothing in the natural land of upper Michigan will top it. So I don't want to be let down if I go up there and see it. So I probably will just never go up there and see it. We got a hoop cam. Hoop cam. Band swagging, here you go, dude. Here you go. Okay. Mm. Well, one in wins. One in wins, and we didn't do it. Just like ice in this picture here hoop cam there you go yes um here's a very artsy picture of ocean resort this is by the way guys this is not only my pictures there's some other people this is like a shared google photos album um so i don't know exactly who took what picture but very artsy picture of the Ocean Resort Casino in Atlantic City. This is where we have our meetup on Saturday. Um, I like it. I like it. I like the fog kind of falling over here. And then uh, VAB shared it in the private chat trip. <clears throat> the dude running this game loved Ice's tank. Yeah, so this guy right here asked Iceberg Slim, where did he get this shirt? And Iceberg Slim turned around and pointed at me, pointed at me, and said, "That guy made it." I was far enough away to have no idea what they were talking about, and I was very confused when he pointed at me. Um, but yeah, that's that's what happened there. Um, here's a nice little picture of the Atlantic City Boardwalk. I don't know where this is from. I'm assuming probably uh, probably Ocean Ocean Resort. Here he is, the man, the myth, the legend. Yes. Van Swagen. Outside of Ocean's Resort. I don't know what this is, just a cool cloud formation. Again, this is not just my pictures, but... <laughs> it is pretty sick. And here it is, the group shot. A definite smaller turnout than previous years. Uh, and unfortunately, there's two people... Well, not counting my friends. Um, but there's two people that I know are not in this picture, and that is NB Trainer and Roadkill. I believe those are the only two that aren't in this picture, maybe? I'm not sure. But yeah, here's the crew. Here they are. What a good, What a good looking bunch of people is, right? TJ's not in it, but Waldo's not in it either. Some friends are definitely not in it. Some friends are not in it. But this is the group pick. This is this is this is the money shot. Um it's a decent, decent pick, but as you can see, the sun was directly above us and not in front of us. I tried to tell that to Wes, but Wes was like, no, but the pier. And I said, okay, we'll go over there. So we changed locations for this year's picture. Is Wes a giant or are all wolf packers very small? Well, I could tell you this with certainty. Um, there are some big people in the wolf pack, uh, especially these three fellas right here. Um, Wes is a pretty is pretty tall, but yeah, these three are bigger than Wes. And everybody in this row is sitting. Everybody in this row is sitting, so <laughs> we do seem very small. Nice view of the pier. Yeah, this is this all we got. You <laughs> Damn, what a gorgeous day! It you was guys a beautiful have. day. Like weather-wise, it couldn't have been more perfect. Really, it was a it was a perfect day, for sure. Um, it was so hot. It was hot. It was hot, but it could have been worse slopey is definitely the biggest right here yeah um slopey's wife is not in this she was taking the picture here because i uh, kate took some pictures and then she was nice enough to to tap out uh, to to check out and uh 
do a little tag team high five with Kate as Kate came and sit, sat here. Um, so she's taking the picture. I think we have a picture with her in it, though. It was so hot. You're in a hoodie. He's not in a hoodie. He's not in a hoodie. <clears throat> Van Swagen is in a hoodie, which I respect. I think it was the hottest day of the year for Jersey. Uh, was it? Maybe. Um, so, yeah, here's here's the rundown. This is uh, Nick G, Nick Golding, TJ's brother. You guys may know him. He joins the stream a lot. Nick G right there. This is J Naps right here. Um, and this is Streetlight. And this is Ion Cannon right here. This is Grass Pad 33 right here. This is Slopey. This is Iceberg Slim. This is Dustin, who came with Very Angry Bird. This is Van Swaggin right here. This is Eric right here. This is Wes USA right here. Eric's girlfriend right here. These two right here. Very Angry Bird right here, V-A-B. This is T-Honey and his girlfriend right here. This is uh, Wolves at My Door and Kate Edge right here. Old Sloppy and his wife, Chrissy, girlfriend, Chrissy, right there. Um, and this is Ven right here. Ven, which was amazing, amazing to meet Ven. It was amazing to meet everybody, but like MB Trainer and Ven, I feel like have been around since the beginning, and I got to meet both of them this Wolves Con, which was amazing. Um, and this is his girlfriend right here, and this is Triplicata right here. And then the two people not pictured, like I said. Old Sloppy's, or sorry, Slopey's wife, and then Roadkill and MB Trainer not pictured. Obviously, Waldo TJ not pictured. Gino also came on Saturday. My friend Gino came on Saturday, and he's not pictured here. So we had a pretty big crew. It was a pretty big crew. They still have the bar next to that fish tank. Mm-mm-mm-mm. They were great to talk with. Everybody was just an absolute pleasure. Everybody's so nice. Everybody's so fun to hang out with. And it's it's really just, like, amazing to, to do this. It's a great, great time. Fantastic people. Okay, so this is this is the picture. Slap my Eric! This is for Begarten BTW. No! No! <laughs> No, I said no. Eric, thank you very much. You son of a bitch. I said, let, let me at least pay for this one meal. Come on, Eric. Come on, dude. <laughs> Eric, thank you very much, dude. Hold the bit up. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Thank you, Eric, for the bit. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> Thanks, dude. I appreciate it. Wolves bits in the chat. Um So yeah. This okay, so what I was saying is this is the photo, this is what's behind us. <laughs> Pretty sick view. Pretty nice spot, won't lie. There's a really cool picture of my friend TJ in the Mike Bibby jersey, of course. Look at that. Look at, look at that. That is a nice picture of this beer right here, too. Wu-Tang tattoo, because you have to. And here, I think, no, this, yeah, this is it. What the hell was that noise? Was that my headphones? Is this loose? Did you hear that? It was so loud. Um, so this is the beer garden, which is the meal that Eric just paid paid for when I said n no, that it was um, the least I could do was that Kate and I covered the meal. Um, but yeah, this place is fantastic. Clog Radio! Yeah! Yo, Clog, thank you for the gifted sub! Clog, thank you for the gifted sub. 
o'clock. Thanks for the 10 gifted. Dark Side Dad, 10,000 bees. Conk, Captain Kablooey, Keith the Turtle, 2112. Blue Wildcat, turn down the AC. Lady G and Mumsy, if you guys heard your name, you just got gifted a sub. Make sure you thank Clock Radio in the chat. Eric, thanks again for the 10,000 bits. Savagery. Pure savagery. Um, uh, so yeah, here's everybody again. I mean, Gino's right there. You can see TJ's right there. Waldo's right there. Um, Roadkill is right here. He was not pictured in the group pick. Roadkill is right here. And yeah, unfortunately, MB Trainer left before this. But you guys saw him in the mini golf pictures and the beach. Oh, that's what that noise was. Holy shit. So I think this is Eric's video. This was, we did go-karts on Saturday. We, we, this indoor go-kart arena opened up and it's fantastic. It's, it was so much fun. Like a million times better than the outdoor go-karts that we did last year. This was like a legit spot and the go-karts went pretty damn quick. Um, I don't know who that is, but this is just a quick little video. You could see all of us scurrying around here. Yeah, Llama, you got the diamond badge, baby. Here you go, Silver. This one is not filmed in, in landscape or in portrait. This one is in landscape. Adults, wolves love. Yo, Thrill, thank you very much for the 68 months. That's me. That's me ripping. You know how it is. Swing. I don't know if I'll be able to tell who all these, who everybody is. I think that's VAB. This is Wes. This is VAB. This is Wes. I think, I, I don't know who this is. I don't know. I can't tell. <laughs> I think this is Kate. <laughs> this is Kate moseying on along. That's Ion Cannon, maybe? Grass pad, maybe? It's hard to tell. I don't know. I don't know who any of these people are. Doing down our thirty in the three. I know I'm in the seventeen. <laughs> Do you guys remember what no what car numbers you were? <laughs> Grass fan looking like Waluigi. <laughs> Twenty nine is me. I did have the Charles Leclerc sixteen in the first race. <laughs> uh, Seventeen in this race. I did two races, by the way, guys. I did this one, and then I did one with. Uh, this was more of like the Wolfpack group, and then the other one was more of my uh, friends group. Who's screaming? This this wasn't Kate's fa <laughs> this this wasn't Kate's favorite uh, go kart experience. I think it was just a little too intense for her. I don't think she was a big fan of it. She was uh, staying on the right. I passed her twice. I lapped her twice. She did good though. She did good. They felt so much faster than it looks here. A hundred percent. One hundred percent. Okay. Um, so that's the video of that. There's a no nice little shot. Maybe a little sunset action going on here. Very nice. I like the picture. And then we got another, ooh, a little cotton candy skies. Okay. Very nice. Okay. Here we go. Now this is Atlantic City right here, baby. Power lines, holes in the, in the street, uneven pavement. 
Empty lots. This is Atlantic City right here. This is what it's all about. I took this picture. This is so we went to Tony Baloney's again. I did get the same sandwich I got last year where you pull out the bone. Kate put it on her story, but I don't think we saved it. It didn't rain, no. I don't know what that is, Silver. That's just Atlantic City things. Um, here is Ice playing some ice hockey. Some floor ho some uh, air hockey. This is T-Honey and his girlfriend. In... Oh, photo motion? Is that a photo booth? They're in some, like, off-brand Lightning McQueen thing? I don't know. I don't know exactly know what's going on this here. This would bog you up. Hey, Jay. Hey, Pack. Wolves smile. Gercher! Thank you very much. I appreciate the 41 months. Thank you. What's up, Gercher? I hope you had a good weekend. Let me see if I can see what your, uh... What video, what video did you upload? Hey, Trip, did you mean to upload this picture of you naked in the mirror? Do you want me to show this? <laughs> uh, I know you're not naked, but. This would your you your sunburn wolves smile. Here's trip. Here's trip sunburn. I'm gonna be honest, dude. Your sunburn looked way worse IRL. the The warm lighting of this room is doing wonders to make it not look as brutal as it was. Cause Bitch, you were you better be joking. Uh, you were red, brother. You were red. Apple pudding. Thanks so much for the 38 months. Thank you. Oh, I see the video. Okay, I see, I see, I see. Yeah, so the, the, so I don't know who did it, but someone, unfortunately, this isn't rendering in high quality just yet, but someone did the classic funny prank. You already know. We were out to eat, and you already know. Someone told the waiter it was my birthday. So, yeah. You know what happens next. Birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday! For Kate's fall foliage fuel fund. <laughs> what? <laughs> Watch people die inside, dude. I need the I need this to render in higher res, man. You. Happy birthday <laughs> to you. Oh. Happy birthday to Jason. Happy birthday <laughs> to you. Oh, that's yeah. so good. Happy birthday. And by the way, the some the the guy that was playing live music started it. He sang it. You can hear him in the back. He even says it at the end. Happy birthday, Jay. Happy birthday, Jay. <laughs> Old Sloppy, what are you doing? Dude, no, Old Sloppy tipping $50. Wolves love in the chat for Old Sloppy. You're insane. You're nuts, dude. What are you doing? You didn't have to do that. <clears throat> for Kate's Fall Foliage Fuel Fund. Thank you very much for the $50, Old Sloppy. It was a pleasure uh, meeting you and hanging out with you. Truly appreciate you guys coming through. You and uh, Chrissy was fantastic. You guys are amazing people. Thank you very much for the, the 50 bucks. That look should be an emote. It really should. If it renders in high def, I'll, I'll play it again. All right, yeah, and that's pretty much, I mean. <clears throat> I 
that's pretty much that. I mean, we have some pictures from disc golf here. This was uh, this was at the sports book. You could see Kate and I's water with an iced coffee and a croissant. And uh, we watched the F1 race, the Hungarian Grand, Grand, Grand Prix. Um, yeah, it was a good time. It did take us like 20 minutes, 20 to 30 minutes for them to turn on the audio, which was really annoying. But uh, yeah. <clears throat> Anyone win big in the casino? Um, sort of. So I played blackjack at actually at this table right here. This table right here is a blackjack table. I played at the blackjack table with my friends. And I actually, I went in with $60 and I played for like 15 to 20 minutes. And I came out with $60. So I was even. Um which in my opinion is a win at a casino. So that's pretty good. Um, I think Dustin, very angry birds friend, uh, who he brought along. I think he was the biggest winner. He won $120 on slots and I'm pretty sure he was using his free $25 because at this casino, if you sign up for their free rewards program, uh, you get a free $25 to gamble with. So a lot of people did that. Um, yeah. See, there you go. Chrissy Chrissy uh, won $6.50 from the free rewards card. Yeah, Dustin was wearing the free free shirt that they, they handed out. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, Silver. Yeah, Sebastian Vettel is retiring at the end of this season. Yep. $6.50, easy coffee money. True. That that'll get you that'll get you like ninety percent of a latte. Thanks again, old sloppy, for the fifty bucks, dude. <clears throat> you didn't have to do that. <clears throat> yes. Yes, TJ TJ did pretty well in the casino. Was up 80 to 100 bucks. He was doing well on the one slot machine that had a bunch of dragons on it. Um and him, me and Wes kind of played blackjack that 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 night and did pretty well. And then Wes and TJ played blackjack the day of the F1 race. Um and they didn't turn it didn't turn out so well. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right, here we go. A little disc golf action. We got Grassy P, Dustin, we got Wes, we got Waldo. We split up into some groups. If there's, like, anybody watching that was in the other disc golf group, and if you have any pictures or any pictures from the weekend, please send them over, uh, and we'll check them out. <clears throat> this is such a good course. This is such a good course. Uh, it's fantastic. Yo, Trip gifting us up the Chrissy codes. Chrissy, welcome on in officially to the Wolf Pack. Thank you very much, Trip. Please, please redact my toothpick legs from the stream. I feel like you got nice legs. I feel like you got nice legs. Triple got a gifting us up the Cat Sensei as well. Cat Sensei. Very much deserves a sub. So thank you very much, Trip. <clears throat> Cat Sensei is a coding genius and has helped me out with many projects and continues to do so. Legend. Absolute legend. <clears throat> and then we got Trip gifting a sub to Marhol as well. Thank you very much. Marhol, welcome back on in. Grassy out here with that clean forehand grip. Just wait till you see Grassy's... Uh, evolution okay we got a we got a, a video of wes 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 is pretty damn good at disc golf i don't know why these videos don't render higher like you can't even see the disc it's so damn pixelated but Wes has a nice little throw there look at that right down right down the center and this is this is one of the coolest holes it's kind of like a straight shot hole, but I just love how it looks. Pretty nice. Man, slanging that thing. <laughs> and here's uh, 
Here's Waldo on the same hole, I believe. Waldo had a rough day, you know. Don't. <laughs> oh, that is a classic. Absolutely dr nope. <laughs> Absolutely drills a tree and Kate goes fairway and just no. <laughs> Oh, God. So good. Uh, but again, disc golf may be one of the highlights of the weekend. Always so much fun to go disc golfing, especially with a big group. What is this? Is this a video? Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh man, there's just uh, there's something so amusing about. I kind of did it strategically, but <laughs> when you're filming someone disc golfing and you like can feel they're gonna hit the tree, but you don't stop, you just continue the pan towards the hole. It's just so funny. <laughs> oh, classic. Oh, here it is, the evolution of Grass Pad. He turned into a tomahawk absolute slayer of the disc. My man went full tomahawk mode. And did really well, actually, as a tomahawk thrower. Did really well. What a character arc. Um, but yeah, that's kind of really it. Unfortunately, not gonna lie, the shoulder's feeling it today. Yeah, you get pretty damn sore. Now we just have half-naked triplicata. You get pretty damn sore from uh, disc golf, I will say. I actually end up... I I was gonna. I thought I was going to be more sore than I ended up. I think my shoulder's getting used to disc golf. I don't go that often, but I feel like I go just enough to where it is actually... It is actually okay with it. But yeah, there it is. Wolves Con 5. <clears throat> My feet and my traps are still feeling it. Yeah, so what was it? How many miles did we go this weekend, guys? I think it was almost 40,000 steps. So WolvesCon is not for the, the, the faint of heart as far as, like, walking goes. Because I think we logged about 40,000 steps the we in this weekend. I, I forget how many miles it ended up being. <clears throat> My dogs are howling. Everybody's dogs were barking and howling for sure. But yeah, this is the group pick. If you guys are just kind of joining, these this is this is uh, this is missing two people: Roadkill and um, an MB Trainer. Mm -mm -mm -mm. As well as uh, Slopey's SO. Missing her as well because she was nice enough to take the picture. 40,000 steps and I still gain five pounds. <laughs> 16K Friday, 18K Saturday, 9K Sunday. There you go. There you go. Yeah, I start, I've started in, in disc golf. I started to throw more with my hips and it's definitely made my arm less and less sore. My hair always knows when there's someone with a camera. I think your hair looks fantastic, old sloppy. <clears throat> but yeah, guys, that's uh, that's pretty much the uh, WolvesCon 5 recap. If you didn't see the shirt or the... This was the badge I handed out. Everybody got one of these badges. The WolvesCon 5 Not A Con badge, where it basically breaks down each day and what we uh, had planned. Also comes with this... Fancy di pantsy uh, lanyard here, and then I'll show you the T-shirt. Uh. 
And, uh, yeah, here's the t-shirt. We had them wrapped up, handed them out. I do have some extras, and I might just put them up for sale with the next merch drop, along with some of these lanyards. But I think this shirt is too good to not to just waste the extras I have, so I feel like I'm just going to sell them with the next merch drop. <clears throat> Here's the t-shirt. Here's the front. But in my opinion, the back's the best part. WolvesCon weekend, New Jersey, AC, LBI badges with the, the flower alien guy with the badge. Here it is. The package deal. The package deal. <clears throat> Merch should be this month, yeah. Should be in August. It's talking to Glass about it today, actually. Should be in a couple weeks here. And yeah, like I said, I might throw the extra Wolves Con shirts uh, up for sale because it's it, the only other option is uh, to throw them out or um, bur yeah, burn them. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, yeah, I forgot. I did. I did. I did get a helmet cam. I could raffle them, yeah. I did get a helmet cam of... This would pog you up. Welcome back. One brother. of the Hope sessions. Had a blast. This is me and my thighs in the go-kart. We got a thigh cam. This is F1 TV exclusive here. How fast can these carts go? You're looking at it. This is as fast as they go. This is as fast as they go. <clears throat> um, Death Dealer. Thank you very much for the 43 months. Thank you. We had a fantastic time. Thanks, dude. Appreciate the 43. <laughs> I was looking back at Kate waving. This is as fast as they go. This is it. Just kidding. Zoom. Watch me cut this corner. Swink. Yeah, this one they just kept saying, all gas, no brakes, all gas, no brakes. I don't know how fa the people that did the go-karts, how fast do you think they went? I don't know, but faster than it looks. It really doesn't look as fast as it felt. Kate says too fast. Unfortunately, on some of the straights, they, they, they kill your engine a bit. Right, so right here is a straight right here. You can even hear it. You can hear that they kill your engine. I'm, I'm coming up on somebody here. I don't know who I passed. I gave a thumbs up there. There's some people on the sidelines up here, I think. Where are we? How far back did I go? They said it could hit 25 miles an hour. Yeah, so it probably went about 20 miles an hour. Classic Lewis Hamilton <laughs> thumbs up. Oh no, 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 no. Okay, some 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 issues going on here in like turn six. Some issues going on. I start yeah. I start coming up on uh, some traffic. 
I started P1, so I'm lapping people now. I came up on some traffic and it, yeah, almost crashed. Weasel in my way around. I think this is grass pad right here. And he's, grass, he squeezes me. Grassy, you said you're 29, right? He didn't give me any room. He squeezed me. You gotta give me a carts, carts with here. You gotta give me a carts with here, Grassy. That's really uncalled for. No blue flag? Yeah, you're gonna get hit with a red. You gotta give me space. Squeezes me out. I rear end him twice here. And this is his fault. I'm pr First of all, he's on the brakes. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I didn't hit the brakes once. I didn't hit the brakes once through this whole track. My man's on the brakes. What is? What are you doing? You could see his red lights light up. I couldn't get around. I start to go, try to go inside. Breaks me, breaks me twice. I hit him twice. Slows us both up. Now I get the Constantine effect. Now here's Kate in the number three Dale Earnhardt car. And Grassy's trying to go, go around Kate here. Grassy trying to go around Kate. Kate gives no space. No space whatsoever. And this is VAB, who I passed earlier, who is now passing me again because I got trapped behind these two. Kate squeezes grass pad. <laughs> oh, why am I picturing the Mr. Krabs meme where he's like, has the dizzy like effect around his head? <laughs> I really slowed down after this. This was the one that shook you. <laughs> Kate going absolutely right into Grassy here. Oh, and then bounces off Grassy. Throws on the brakes. VAB is now gone. I have to contend with this. I do pass Kate, and now I'm starting to take Grassy on the inside. And we take him on the inside and, and rub him off here. And now I'm, I think I'm behind VAB the entire time. There is no, there is no passing him now. But it, it, no one passed me once. Other than VAB with the relap. But we started P1 and nobody, nobody contended. No, they turned off the boost button. They said the boost button doesn't work. Which is bullshit. <clears throat> oh yeah, Kate Kate got whiplash by Wes. It's 10 laps. Everyone had a good time at WolvesCon. I mean, I can only speak for myself and what people told me. I can only speak for myself and what the people have told me. But I had a great time at WolvesCon. Um, I know Kate had a good time at WolvesCon as well as uh, my friends. But yeah, I think everybody enjoyed their time. Oh, this is, oh no, this is me passing Kate again. This is me passing Kate again. Kate is completely slowed down at this point. The number three Dale Earnhardt car. I try to go around the outside here, but she squeezes me. Kate is playing heavy defense. Look at what Kate's trying to do. This is a wall right here, fellas. Do you know how dangerous this is? Kate put me in grave danger here by squeezing me off on the uh, the chicane here. I have nowhere to go. There's no exit road. I'm in trouble. I had to completely throw on the brakes. We had to go right around. Had to throw on the brakes again. <laughs> no! 
I look back at her. Had to pass her for the second time. I wave, the Lewis Hamilton wave. Yeah, Wes. <laughs> Wes, Wes wasn't in this group. Wes was in the other group that I raced, which was like um, Nick G, his crew, and some of my friends. Wes went and got a drink at the bar and my man put on the race helmet and walked over to the starting fence with drink in hand. Oh, Wes was in this one. You're right. You're right. Wes was in this one. Uh, he walked over to the starting gate with an alcoholic beverage and the guy was the guy that worked there was like, hey, man, like, I can't let you race. <laughs> You better be joking. <laughs> he was like, I can't let you race. <laughs> I can't let you race. And then he, I don't know. I wish Wes was here to tell the story. But so, something happened where the guy was like, if like, I'll let you race if you like, you know, slip me, slip me a 10 or something. Like straight up, like was just like schmooze me a little bit with some some dollars and I'll, I'll act like I didn't see you walk up with an alcoholic beverage in your hand so he was like all right yeah I got you and the guy that worked there was like you know where to <laughs> he's like you know where to put it so supposedly this is what Wes was telling me I didn't see it firsthand <clears throat> supposedly Wes put ten dollars in the drawer like the because there's like a little area where the workers stood and like you could put some of your pro your uh, like phone and wallet and stuff. And Wes put the ten dollars in there, and was just like, you know, I got you. And he was also just saying like, it's only one beer, it's not gonna do anything or whatever. And so he raced the whole race. When we were done with the race, our race results, like our lap times and stuff, were gone. Like they didn't exist. Wes asked two of the girls separately, hey, where are where are the race results? We want a printout. Like, we want the lap times. Like, we weren't showing up on the big screen. <clears throat> and then, it's yeah, like, they deleted them out of the system or whatever. <clears throat> and then Wes went over to the guy that asked him for the 10 bucks to not say anything because he was drinking. And the guy was just like, yeah, man, I don't know. They must have got deleted. So then Wes took back the 10 bucks. He's like, fuck this. <laughs> uh, he fucking took back the ten dollars. Like, all right, well, if you're not <laughs> give me the give me the 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 printouts. So funny. Uno reverse. But yeah, it was, I was kind of actually bummed about it. I wanted the printout of the results. Because <clears throat> I definitely had my best lap time on this race. Just full bore. Look at the thigh shot here. I think this is the last lap. Yeah, see, I started cutting off that last corner, and that's definitely saved me a lot of time. <clears throat> yeah, that's the last lap. There's Kate. <laughs> There's Kate chilling. We could get our own lap time, it's true. We could get our own lap time. This is the last lap, I believe. This would pog you up. 70 months, wow.
I really can't believe it. All right. I've given Jay almost as much money as I've spent on Legos. What is it? 19... Guys, write this down. 1950-40. 1950-40. Let's see where we end this lap. <clears throat> Yo, Russian, thank you very much for the 70 months. Dude, I can't believe how hard you went on that Lego order. You went, you went hard. Nineteen fifty one oh eight. So it was twenty eight seconds. Twenty eight seconds. Is that was that my lap time? I wonder if anybody has the printouts from the other race. How was I on pace? Actually, you know what? I think there's a picture. <clears throat> Wait, where where was it? I think. What is this? Iceberg Slim, very angry bird. T honey, Ion kind of uh, triplicata and Mrs. T honey. <laughs> okay, this is a good vid. Iceberg Slim, very angry bird. T honey, Ion kind of uh, triplicata and Mrs. T honey. <laughs> That's a fantastic video. I'm really hydrated and sweaty. Oh wow, that, my lap time was terrible. I was two. I was a sec. I was one point two seconds off P, off uh, VAB's pace. <clears throat> That's not good at all. But we zoomed. That was the top times of the day, and we we would have been close up there. That was fun though. I really really like the go kart tracks. The the indoor go kart track. I liked it a lot. I would do that again for sure. I just put it on the softball field. Yeah, so this was the other group of uh, disc golfers. Yeah, so this disc golf course actually is, is attached to multiple baseball fields, and there was legitimately two high-intensity softball games going on the whole entire, entire time we were playing disc golf. The whole entire time. I don't know what the heck was going on. And there was like nonstop cheering. But yeah, Wolf's Gone 5, a absolute success. How many people were there? You could take this group picture right here. You could take this group picture and add three. And then you would also add Waldo, Gino, and TJ. So you would add six to this. And that was our total count for Wolf's Gone. So, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22. So, 28 <clears throat> total. It's a good time. All right, guys, what are we going to do? I actually have one game I want to play, but other than that, I have no idea. No idea. Yeah, about WolvesCon 6, guys. I don't know. I don't know. Last year, after WolvesCon 4, I immediately confirmed WolvesCon 5. I actually am not going to immediately confirm WolvesCon 6. Um, I do want to do something. I don't know exactly what that something is. I don't know what it looks like. I don't know if maybe we just take a year or two off um, and then come back again with the same same kind of lbi ac disc golf situation um or if we do it somewhere else or in new jersey again just in a different location or you have to realize i 
I don't I I would do it every year in this area every single time. But for the people that spend money and travel out to WolvesCon, you can only do beach Atlantic City and disc golf so many times, and that's that's understandable. We just can't keep doing the same thing over and over again. So we probably are going to have to switch locations or just take a couple of years off and then come back strong. Boys. NHL <clears throat> go-karts almost made me have an anxiety attack. Not even about racing. I have no qualms with going speedy, speedy, zoom, zoom. I just heard people yelling and assumed they were yelling at me to chill and so I kept slowing down and people ran into me. So I just assumed I ruined everyone's experience. <clears throat> you didn't ruin anyone's experience, Trip. Thank you very much for the bits. Thank you. Um, I appreciate it. <clears throat> it's And like, here's oh, this is not something that I haven't discussed and thought about, about the future of WolvesCon and what it looks like. <clears throat> this is... This is something I've thought about a lot. <clears throat> and it's not it's not as easy as saying, oh, just switch locations. After four years of doing it in the same spot, I have mo shaped and molded this like plan that kind of has bullet points throughout the weekend that kind of keeps everybody on the same path. And it's kind of just been crafted to get 20 to 30 people all doing the same thing and enjoying it together. So just saying, Oh, just go do it somewhere else is like, okay. But like, I have to, I have to know the place really well. I have to have like some recommendations or personal experience at where we eat, where we go. What do we do? Like there's, just, it's just not as easy as, Oh, do it in California. Oh, do it in, uh, Colorado. Oh, do it in Florida. Oh, like it's just the only way I can maybe see <clears throat> WolvesCon shaping in the future is if we center it around like an event. Like I always think the F1 race would be really fun Slide to do it. Uh, because then funny was like, damn, those are some anxiety issues. And I was like, yeah, that's dumb. Why did I think they were yelling at me? So I think I had a breakthrough. That's so good. I'm sharing with my therapist. So if you want to make some breakthroughs in your life, go to WLVSCon is change your life. True. It'll change your life. Thank you very much for the 100 bits trip. The 200 actually. Thank you. <clears throat> um, yes, clock. Yes, true. Slap my thigh, boys. DCJ eat Design. Thank you for the 100 bits. I'll eat your bits. <clears throat> I didn't think it was actually going to go down my throat. Um, yeah, I understand that the F1 races sell out really quick in the United States, uh, and that's fine. Um, it would probably all be secondary tickets as well. I don't. I can't remember the last time I bought tickets for an event that wasn't on like the secondary market. And yes, I know it's expensive, but if we were to change the location for WolvesCon, the beauty of the F1 race is that like all the planning's already done. And I know, I know it would be a way smaller turnout and stuff. It would be way more intimate and more of a like offshoot Wolves Con where it would just be like more of a meetup at the F1 race or something. But um, yeah, definitely thought about an F1 race. Definitely thought about Disney World. Um, yes, we have Six Flags in New Jersey, but I would never do it ever, ever. Um, I don't like any Six Flags rides. I actually think Six Flags is miserable. <laughs> it ba Six Flags to me is like an amusement park, but all the fun sucked out of it. So I would never do it, but that is something that is in New Jersey. But I also think if we were to change the location, we probably would do it outside of New Jersey. That way it would open it up for some people to maybe come out that normally couldn't get to New Jersey. <clears throat> <laughs> Wolves con six flags. I see what you did there, Space. I see what you did there. I didn't know that, Vic. I did not know that. <laughs> do, 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 do. <laughs> Thanks again, DCJ Design, for the bits. 
Boston, but yeah, is it far enough away from New Jersey? Like, could somebody go to Boston but not New Jersey? Probably very small. Yeah, but, you know, it's something I'll think about. It's the reason why I'm not saying WolvesCon 6 is confirmed because there's a lot to think about, a lot to to process about where we go with WolvesCon and what we do next um, and what it looks like. Again, just not as easy as just do it in this spot. Um, so, yeah. That's that. Yeah, so just to give you an idea of kind of like what the itinerary was for WolvesCon 5, I had this all kind of planned out. And this is what I'm trying to say. Like, I if if we picked a random location, I, I couldn't like pick out specific spots to meet at or specific things to do. Um, I would have have to have visited that city a bunch of times and really figured it out and done a lot of research type stuff. You know what I mean? So... How about that French toast latte, though, huh? Oh, baby, yes. See, look at that. The sports book looks so different. They changed around the sports book. Definitely made it a lot worse. They used to have these lounge chairs like this, which was so sick. They don't have that anymore. Yeah, I don't know. Again, another really, really big possibility is just to maybe take a year or two off and have people uh, kind of clamoring for a Wolves Con again and 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 then just doing doing our thing that we do so well because I really feel like Wolves Con is kind of like a well-oiled machine in the current location. But um, yeah, that's my thoughts. That is my thoughts. For the best beer and best latte? Wait, what's the best Bye beer? Wolfscon 6 will be in the geographical center of the United States. This is we true. We all show up with weaponry and fight to the death. Whoever wins is top chatter. I didn't expect uh, my private conversation with Triple Cotta at Wolfscon 5 to be aired out just like that. But yes, that's, that is what we were thinking now that the plan has been leaked. WolvesCon 6, Turks and Caicos. Honestly, like a resort type crazy like getaway vacation place like that could be really cool for sure. Dude, the cheese curds. Oh my God. The cheese curds at Beer Garden. The Beer Garden's mango cart beer is simply the best beer I've ever had. Whoa. Really? Have you... Have you... Did you tell people about it? I feel like I didn't hear anything about that. People were asking for beer recommendations. You were right there. Half the gang got sunburnt in the first hour of being on the boardwalk, and y'all want to go to an island resort? <laughs> yeah, I feel like Kate would love a mango cart beer. You got to share this kind of info, Ian. I told you about the French toast latte. WolvesCon 6 in Fiji, and it's actually just that we all get cast on Survivor. <laughs> Fantastic idea. It, it, there is a fear of, like, if we go out of state and change it up. It's just, like, I, I, feel, I feel like it's not going to be as good. And I know that's a biased take, but I just feel like it's, it's so fun. It's so good. And people seem to really enjoy it. <clears throat> um, all right. So the game we're playing, uh, the game I wanted to play is Trombone Champ. I'm going to play this game called Trombone Champ. Basically, it's like Guitar Hero, but you use a mouse to play a trombone. Um, <laughs> and it seems really ridiculous. And I'm very excited to play it. <laughs> it has nothing to do with people, Island. Hey, DCJ Design, you thank fella? you for the 100 bit. Thank you very much. 
Still, fella. You are just at New Jersey soccer? I do suck New Jersey off. You're right. Bitch, I you am a fan. Be joking. I am a fan of sucking New Jersey. Do, do, do. <clears throat> Wasn't it just last week you were talking about wanting to play Red Dead Redemption 2 and now we're tromboning? Yes. That's how my brain works. That's how my brain works. I'm just like, yeah, I want to play Red Dead Redemption 2, but wait a minute. Let's play Trombone Champ. A Guitar Hero game that you play with your mouse where you play a trombone. Seems pretty logical. What's your biggest fear from, apart from doing WolvesCon out of state? I mean, I wouldn't say anything is a fear necessarily. It's just everything that I was just talking about. Just the fact that over four years I've molded this path and things to do and I feel comfortable with it. And then if I were to take it out of state and not know anything about it, it would be a hell of a lot of research or I don't know, just a lot. Stoop kid afraid to leave a stoop. True. <clears throat> True. Fake brands is not dead. No. I know you love saying things are dead, Silver. It's not dead. I plan on doing another fake brands for sure. There's just been a lot going on, to say the least. With Wes being in town, with our roommates just kind of like moving out, with WolvesCon, with a week-long beach vacation, with designing merch, wrapping up Ryan's merch. There's a lot going on. <clears throat> oh, no, Grassy, really? Your flights got delayed? Oh, shit. That sucks. <clears throat> Yeah, I yeah, Ian. Yeah. Um I think that would be the leader. That would be the leader uh if we were to switch location locations would probably be California. Um yeah. All right, here we go, guys. <clears throat> I am sure So it comes to pass. The thing is, like, if I were to do it in Calvi, I would want to do it in San Diego. And it's like, if we were to do it in San Diego, why not just do TwitchCon? So that's probably why I wouldn't do it. I would just be like, let's go to TwitchCon. And then everybody would be like, okay. And then we just do the, do the hangout there. Is that a trombone? Toot. Toot your trombone, the brave soul, and you may yet become the trombone jam. What <laughs> the hell is this? Cons are not as fun. I agree, but it's just like, you know, there's a lot of content there, especially like video game content that people would probably enjoy as well as enjoying the meetup. I mean, I had fun at I had fun at TwitchCon and PAX and stuff, but WolvesCon is just the best. All right, here we go. This is a crazy menu. Tr choose your tromboner, a tromboner. These horn lord? Horn lord? I understand that, Llama. That's why I like literally started WolvesCon, because the hangout was more fun than PAX and TwitchCon. 
but if I were to have a meetup in San Diego, we could just do it at TwitchCon, whether we go to the, the convention or not. But it would give people options to go to the convention to see video games because I stream on a video game website. I could just see it now if I did WolvesCon in San Diego during the summer, everybody would just be like, why didn't you just do it the same a week at TwitchCon? And I would be like, I don't know. <laughs> it's a great point. All right, we got a warm up to go. Horny, horny boner. Move the mouse forward and back, move the slide, line up with the dot. Oh, watch the breath meter. If you hold a no for too long, you'll run out of breath. Build combos. Yes, Guitar Hero. I've played it. Yeah, that's probably what I would do, Chris. He would just be like, do it a few days before TwitchCon. <laughs> this is hard! Why is this so hard? <laughs> I don't understand. Holy. <laughs> Again? <laughs> oh, I got a B. I did pretty good. I did pretty good. Earn 541 toots. All right, here we go. Ball game. Is it loud enough, guys? Sometimes maybe good, sometimes maybe shit. Buy me some peanuts and Cracker Jack. I don't care if I'll never get back. <laughs> what? What part is this? What is this? Oh, I kind of killed it at the end there. I kind of killed it at the end there. Yes. I'll take a B all day. I'll take a B all day. Old Gray Mar. First trombone was invented in 20 million BC. Wow. <laughs> what is this? What is this song? <laughs> what is this? 
is. I, I understand I'm like, uh, I'm covering like the most important part of the game. All right, let's run it back. The controller is just a mouse, but it's for some reason so difficult. Ahead of it, like Guitar Hero. <laughs> okay, we almost got to be. Trombone Skies. Let's try the next song. <clears throat> there are more trombones on Earth than there are humans. That's factual. That is factual. Oh, shit. Okay. That's depressing. Song kind of bangs. so long Watching without audio, cowards. Yo, Nick, thank you so much for the 98 months, the longest you could be subbed to this channel, the first subscriber ever, Fat Daddy 109. Thank you for the 98. Two more months for that, 100 months. 
I hope you uh, enjoy the new eight-year sub badge. There's a brand new eight-year sub badge and a brand new seven and a half-year sub badge. Zara Th Thrusta. Is that real? Okay, I like this. Kind of nailed it. Perfect. <laughs> Was it a mouth fart? Perfect. <laughs> I got champ. It's lighting up up top. I'm cracked. That's got to be like an A. It is an A. Oh, hell yes. Skip to my Lou. 1840 square dance. He owns two trombones. <laughs> Okay, this is impossible. My brain can't, it cannot, <laughs> it cannot keep up. Five out of ten difficulty. That shit was impossible. How? <sighs> Scroll speed? Is there like... Collect? Welcome to our collection. Play the main game to earn toots. Spend them. A sack of cards? Do not eat. Click the sack. A Beethoven card? <laughs> this is my favorite NFT I've ever owned. That holographic effect is actually sick. <laughs> Build card? I don't have enough turds. Turd card? Oh. One out of one. Baboon.
Um, what? <laughs> What is this? Write your own song? <laughs> I feel like we gotta run back uh, Skip to my Lou We gotta run this one back Takes over 3,000 tons of brass To produce a single trombone I feel like that's not right Cat Jam It gets real bad up here. Dude, that one's so hard, man. That one's really hard. I'm clenching my teeth so hard. <laughs> Wait, why? <laughs> Streamer man toots his horn. Axis, thank you very much for the 39 months. Thank you. In real life, there are over nine songs that feature a trombone. It's a great fact. <laughs> Hold on, let's go to the settings. Is it, does it have to be inverted? Cool mode, inverted, babby mode. Mouse speed and gameplay, maybe that'll help? Baboon quantity. What the hell does that mean? Baboon preference, what? Funny jump scare? Let's try to slow down the scroll speed. See if that helps. And we're not inverted anymore. Yo, what's up, little bits? Hello? Good to see ya. <laughs> Why am I? Dude. I'm used to inverted. Get me out of babby mode.
three strikes, you're out at the old ball game. Dude, I had a combo going. I think I started to understand the non-inverted. We had a fantastic time a little bit. I mean, at least I did. I know that. We did do a little bit of a recap at the beginning of the stream, showed some photos, talked a little bit about Wolves Con 5. Let's try this one again. I don't know I, I don't know if I know this song. Do you guys know this song? Many years ago, many long years ago, the old gray mar slipped on a banana peel, slipped on a banana peel, slipped on a banana peel, the old gray mar slipped on a banana peel and fell all the way down, fell all the way down the well, fell all the way down the well, the old gray mar, she ain't what she used to Ain't what she used to, ain't what she used to, the old gray Mari, which many long years ago, many long years ago, many long years ago. Okay. We did better when we sang it. I was got, got more, I got more into the tune. Mare, Mar, I don't know, it's a horse. I don't know why they just didn't say horse. It's a freaking horse. <clears throat> Nine out of ten. This is a 2021 song. I feel like the possibilities for this game are endless. To do a bunch of different brass instruments like clarinet and stuff and and get some like fun songs. Oh, it's this one. I'm kind of cracked at this one. Look at the combo. Dude, every time I get the combo, I get nervous. Song bangs for sure.
We killed it there. I feel like we killed it. That's gotta be an A. It's not an A. 1.2 million points. Oh. Brass instruments like a clarinet. You guys know what I mean. <clears throat> like horns and shit. Look at all these, these. They got a bunch of instruments locked. I don't even know what these. What is? The, what are these options? True. Choose your tromboner. Yeah, unfortunately, they just don't have that many songs. I would keep playing, but we've played all the songs. We've played them all. All right. What game are we going to play next? Are we going to play... Um... Are we going to play maybe some more Bear and Breakfast? I don't know. What do you think? Boom shakalaka! What do we got, a hoop cam? Let's do it. For you, hoop Melly cam. Eggs. For you, Melly Eggs. Oh, come on. Oh, brother, this guy stinks. Off the backboard and rimmed out. Dinkum, baby! You want Dinkum? Planet Coaster? It's funny you say that. I launched it today. I had this idea of creating a park, but it was like Disney 2.0. So basically, we all come up with ideas for attractions that could be Disney rides that aren't Disney rides, and I build a new park. Like a Moana ride was an idea I had. Like a cars ride, but it's like go-karts. Um, what was the other idea I had? <clears throat> what was the other idea? Oh, a Wreck-It Ralph attraction. Just like have have like a Disney park that doesn't it has like unique Disney rides in it that don't, that don't already exist. But that would take a lot of planning and probably a lot of work. It would be more, more like, I don't know, probably more planning than anything if we were to do something like that. Did you guys watch the Andor trailer? I didn't watch the Andor trailer. I kind of want to watch it. Do you guys want to watch it? I thought about it, Clock. I thought about it. I mean, we're going in September and potentially doing a, a family one in fe February, so it would just be, it would be a lot <laughs> on Disney. <clears throat> I definitely thought about it. All right, here we go. I want to check out this Andor, the new Star Wars show. Wow, no 4K? steal from Whoa. the Empire? You just walk in like you belong. They're so proud of themselves. So fat and satisfied. They can't imagine that someone like me would ever get inside their house. Cassian Ander. The Empire is choking us so slowly. We're starting not to notice. What I'm asking is this. 
wouldn't you rather give it all to something real? Is that the guy from Chernobyl? <clears throat> I need all the heroes I can get. For the greater good. Call it what you will. Let's call it war. This is cool. There's fermenting out there, son. Pockets of fermenting. You're in my net. Are you a fish? Or are you a thief? You're slipping. <laughs> I'm not slipping. I'm just He's definitely for too long. Definitely the guy from Chernobyl. As long as everyone thinks I'm an irritation, there's a good chance they'll miss what I'm really doing. What are you really doing? This is what revolution looks like. This is intense, man. I'm tired of losing. This is a TV show? pretty cool i'm excited for that <clears throat> that's just insane that's just a tv show i'm sweating yeah that got me straight up half chub i know I, I was gonna say this i was gonna say this is this felt like this didn't give like anything away but it teased like so much shit and it wasn't like it didn't the trailer didn't overstay its welcome or say too much that was like perfect. It just it felt like a movie. Like that did not feel like a TV show at all. Wild. What is this game? The Lost Wild? Read comments. Read comments on that video. Yeah, I, I, I love like the look of this. Like I, I love the look of so fat. Like the extra grit that Rogue One had. I feel like if that carries over into a lot of the new Star Wars stuff, combined with like the Mandalorian feel, like I feel like that's where it should head. It looks way better than Kenobi. Looks way better. Everybody's pretty pretty positive, which is um <clears throat> this is rare. This is very rare. On a Star Wars production, that's in, that's like impossible to be mainly positive how how how'd they do it i want to check out this game the lost wild It's like some sort of survival, like, dinosaur game or something. Whoa.
That looks pretty sick. That was definitely not a gameplay trailer, but that looked really cool. I feel like an idea, the idea is really good. A survival horror type game with dinosaurs? That, may, that, may, that makes sense. That makes sense. All right, what should we play? What are we what are, what are we going to play? What did I say? I'm just looking at YouTube now. I'm falling I'm slowly falling into a YouTube hole. Don't let me fall into this YouTube hole. House Flipper again? Run it back? Yeah, I wanted to watch the Lord of the Rings of the Rings Amazon show trailer, but I was scared it was going to give too much away. This one says teaser. It was posted two weeks ago. But yeah, they had a San Diego Comic-Con trailer. That one looks like it gives too much away. Let's watch this teaser. There was a time when the world was so young. There had not yet been a sunrise. But even then, there was light. Wow. Elves have forests to protect. Dwarfs their mines. Mend their fields of grain. But we Harfoots have each other. For I must now wander this wandering day. We're safe. You have fought long enough, Galadriel. Put up your sword. The enemy is still out there. The question now is where? It is Whoa. over. You have not seen what I have seen. I have seen my share. You have not seen. Wow. What I have seen. Darkness will march over the face of the earth. It will be the end, not just of our people, but all peoples. I am sorry. I love the way this looks. The past is with us all. The past is dead. We either move forward we die with it this could be the beginning of a new era this is just crazy man what the hell <clears throat> Away I must wander this wandering day. dude this is in like a month <laughs> so stupid. Yeah, looks fun. <clears throat> looks like a fun show. I'm excited for it. There is a lot of good media incoming. It's true. It is true.
Amazon exposed. Lord of the Rings, Rings of Power is fake Tolkien. <laughs> It's so funny. All right, let's play. I'm in between. I really want to play more Baron Breakfast. I mean, we could play more Dinkum, of course. I think I want to play more Baron Breakfast. I want to see what else the game has to offer because it feels more of a game where you can kind of beat it, where Dinkum feels like a game you could just dump and dump hours into. Song's going hard. Oh, and Mythic Quest is coming back as well? Nice. I don't know if I ever even watched season two of Mythic Quest. But I liked season one of it. All right, let's play Baron Breakfast. Do, 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 do. Have you guys seen the Monsters trailer? The Rob Zombie Monsters trailer? Why does it look so bad? I feel like I'm gonna like it. I feel like I'm gonna like it for all the wrong reasons. Like, I feel like it's gonna be one of those, like, straight to DVD movies that are, like, so bad they're good. Zombie, the director of House of a Thousand Corpses, Halloween. And the Devil's Rejects brings you the greatest love story ever told. Oh, I, I don't like the sound of that. Think of it. The brain of a super genius transplanted into the body. I of did watch Monsters as a kid, yeah. <laughs> I want a man that makes my blood run cold. A man that every time he enters my crypt, it's like a stake through my dead black. I can whip the upper humpy down in the lamb. Oh, no. Remember what happened last time? He was battered. I'm gonna go. Okay. I'm looking for a vision. A queen. True love. And what exactly do you want? Is Herman Munster in there? <laughs> uh -huh. I knew the moment I laid eyes on you that you were special. I understand if you don't feel the same. I'm just a regular gal living a boring, normal life. If there's one thing I know... Like the green screen here? Like what? Look at that. Look at these, the haircut on the green screen. <laughs> it looks so bad. Is that the rest of the world melted away as soon as you appeared in my life? It seems Miss Lily is truly in love. Oh, come on. You know and I know that we got to get rid of that bozo Herman Munster. Like, what? What is the cutout here? <laughs> I think it's meant to be bad. I, I think it is as well. But I can't tell. Song goes hard. Greetings from Transylvania. <laughs> That's a strange way of saying hello. Oh, I guess we're going to have to get used to it. So strange, man. I can't tell if he's an absolute genius or just very confused. It's just, if it's like a straight to DVD type feeling, like a TV Halloween special. But it's like, if he was going for that, he's a genius. <laughs> straight up.
Nope. I do think that's like the straight to DVD aesthetic like that or like a TV movie or something. I think that's going to be something that like really posh directors and producers will actually try to do in like 20 years. Like I think he I think he jumped the shark a little bit on it cuz I don't think people are ready for it. But it's like how PS1 graphics are making a comeback or PS2 graphics I should say. It's like the same thing. Like, I can guarantee there's going to be a movie in 20 years that has that aesthetic. But on purpose. <clears throat> jump the gun. Yeah, it didn't jump the shark. Sorry. Jump the gun. All right, bear and breakfast. If you guys missed us playing this game, it's basically a game where you're a bear and you run bed and breakfasts. Right now, we have the dinky shed. We have the motel. In the dinky shed, we have four bedrooms, one active guest, which means... No available bedrooms. Oh, they leave tomorrow. Let's sleep the night away. It does, Dan Jr. Oh, we have a bunch of requests. Holy moly. Wait, nobody's leaving. All right, we have only one active... Oh, they're all coming into town. Hello, everybody. Welcome to your bed and breakfast. They all get scared of me because I'm a bear. They're checking in. We're on day number 10. Um, we got to get to the A24 and go to our motel, which is our other property. Oh, this game is really fun. I like it. We also opened up this uh, diner here next to our motel. We also have a distillery in our, in our, um, as you can see, she's going to get a beer right now. All right, let's fill this up. Three and three and three and then six. So it's saying bedroom three and one don't have the hygiene, so it doesn't the the bathroom's not registering for them. But they all want some sort of hygiene, which is kind of a problem. I might be tempted to recommend it. The hell does that mean? All right, said so bedrooms, what? One and three? Oh yeah, we were gonna make a bathroom here. I forgot. We could probably do that now. Let's do, um hygiene and then we'll build a door build another door we'll have like a connecting get a window in there and then it'll be crappy toilet wooden shower bathroom sink Rusted sink cannot be placed in a hallway. What? Okay, now it's officially a bathroom, I think. I don't know if this is intended to work, but I'm going to try to make it work. We don't really have any decorations on us. We gotta go buy some. Okay, now we have another bathroom. That should be that should that should be good for the other rooms.
Thought you pick up trash with E. Can't seem to pick up that trash though. All right, so all these rooms are gonna be filled tomorrow. Um, all right, let's see. Complete the stay for three guests in this Air Airbnb here. This VRBO. Metal Biker Bear. Oh, little decoration. Incredible sample of modern art. Plus one extra guest request in this area. This is butte. See if there's anything else we could build. Already did the diner. Some trash in there we could take. Telling us to go over here. Oh, we got to talk to the chicken because we restored the diner and we never did it for the turkey. How's the diner repair going? Going, going, gone. I mean done. Not done yet. No, going, going, gone. There's nothing more treacherous on this green earth than humans. Those bald gremlins. <laughs> they know nothing of this world yet. They consume it. The dark spirit will be angry with their return. You really freak me out when you do that. I suppose they do bring their own fortunes, which of course they don't share willingly. We have to pray or become prey. Or scavenge like rats. I don't suppose you had any bad dreams uh, lately. No, none. I sleep like a baby. Yeah, a big, honest baby. Don't worry, she bites when she's told. There's no one to tell her yes or no. I don't know what the hell you're talking about. She just sells wood and, and charcoal, Lily. I'm not interested in either of that. Okay, we got to go back to Timber Crossing. We have a uh, quest to turn in here. Is the job complete? Yes. Congrats. You have once again proven yourself barely above minimum expectations. Guests will now have higher expectations for this location. Olive pants. We got olive pants, baby. Let's go. Hey, <laughs> looking kind of clean with the pants on. Always wanted to be a race car driver. Not many bus Grand Prix out there, I'll tell you. You're not wrong. Bear no longer bear. Look at that. Easy. We even, uh, out of the back of her pants, got a little hole for our tail to stick out of. So cute. So freaking cute. There's some wood over here we can grab. I can't believe I was staying up every night in this game when you could just click a button and just go past the night. I feel like we would be so much further in this game if I knew that. I love the art style in this game, man. It's so good. It makes me happy. I think we've collected everything we could collect here. Go back to the A24, maybe go to the the dump, see if there's any metal for us. Which I think is over this way. Oh yeah. Take everything.
Maybe we'll start Red Dead tomorrow. Red Dead Redemption 2. Maybe we'll start tomorrow. I don't, I just, I, I, I know I like got like 60 or 70% of the way done. I just, um, I just think we start over. I want the full experience. It's been a while since I played a linear game like that. Honestly, has it been since the Lego game since we played like a linear story game? I feel like it has. There's a chest over there. Oh yeah, we played Stray, right. That was such a short game though. And like Stray is, Stray is weird because it's not like a game really. Like it is, but it's like not a game though. It's like an experience. It's like um, it's like a meditative chill thing. It's it's like I don't know. It's kind of strange. It's like it's you're just so on one path, and then like all the platforming stuff in Stray is like hit a direction and A, but it's not like you're not doing the platforming. You know what I mean? Like the platforming is being done for you, so it it feels less like a game. It's not necessarily a bad thing. It just, when I think back at Stray, I don't really think of it as like a gaming experience. It just feels like they're allowing me to interact with the cat every once in a while. <laughs> this would pog you up. Yo, Sensei, thank you very much for the 60 months, dude. What's up, mate? How are we? How are we doing? How are we feeling? So much trash to pick up around here. Once this little thing up here hits this moon fully, we could sleep through the night. And then this should, that should complete our quest here, I think. Oh, I see what they did. Motel Mo problems. I see, I see. I get it. We got some Chinese food tonight, guys. I had General Tso's chicken, and it was so goddamn good. And then we also got um, cheese wontons, and they give you sweet and sour sauce to dip it in, and that shit's just so, so good. My mouth's watering thinking about it again. Little pork fried rice. Ooh, baby. Oh, nice dick. That sounds good. How was how was your trip? Writing a paper comparing ALS and MS and how radiographers imagining Imaging professionals should approach patients with those diseases. Wow. Okay. Okay, Sensei. All right. It was exhausting? Oh, no. That's not good. Isn't it supposed to be um, relaxing? Complete the stay for plus. Okay, we did complete it. Okay, good, good, good. 
amazing. This concludes our for foray into the roadside attraction business. Your extraordinary enterprise empire is expanding thanks to the hard work of your pawn voyage representative. How can I ever repay you? Remember to start working on your next premium property. Locate your nearest shark-like agent and press the green button. Hmm. Oh, how quaint. Come visit an old lady when you can, will you? Okay. Three kids in Wisconsin hanging all over me and three kids in Iowa hanging all... Oh, like that. Okay, I see, I see. That's good. It's good you got to see them. You're making your way all over the place, aren't you? My, I barely got here and you're right on my track. That's right, old lady. You better watch your back or I might build you a bedroom. You seem to have made it into a little concrete island, arguably an oasis worse than the desert it's saving you from. This place used to host all sorts of people, but mostly those without a lot of, without a lot of time on their hands. One of them a sailor, a captain, I should say. A father to three strong boys. He had a lot of unexpected stops to make. Some would say his work was hectic, hostage to the wishes of the sea. I, I, you're just, you're talking a lot, lady, here. I don't know. Come across an old leather book. Do an old lady a favor, would you? An old leather book. I, I guess I picked one up on my... I have a long walk ahead of me. Okay. Lost and found complete. We completed a quest. I must have picked up a book along the way and I didn't even realize. <laughs> Sabine, fancy meeting you here, mister. I figured something must have gone down south. Too many folk out of nowhere. That damn shark's got people coming in droves. I have to go keep an eye out on the dam near the lake. So the barrier up to High Lake is open. If you make your way... Up there, look me up. I know the place inside and out. Okay. And we have a new area to explore. Okay. Go to High Lake through Timber Crossing. It does feel... Yeah, it feels like a Cartoon Network game or something. Yeah, like the art style for sure. Seems a little more deep than a game like that would be on that site. But yeah, I know what you're saying. I'm assuming we got to go north here. Raise the prestige to level three in Timber Crossing. I think I already did that. Get three five-star reviews in Timber Crossing. Okay. Okay. Gotta wait on some reviews to come in. Hmm. This would pog you up. Hmm. Hmm. I'm Ken hmm. Louis Vuitton Don. Bought my mom a purse, now she Louis Vuitton mom. Dad, thank you very much for the 85 months. Thank you, my brother. Shout out, uh, Kathy Cakes. Hope you've been well, dude. Thank you very much. We missed you at Wolves Con this year. Uh... You got to come out one year, brother. Hope you're enjoying the stream. Been loving the content. Recap, please. We did a recap at the beginning of the stream. We went through all the pictures. Uh, you know, said what we did. We had a fantastic time. It's a great time. We basically beach on Friday, Saturday, Atlantic City, Sunday, wake up, watch the F1 race, and go play disc golf. That was pretty much the rundown. We had a showing of like 25 people from the community came out. Um, it was great. Was the National in Atlantic City? I saw people with bags of freaking boxes of cards. Don't tell me. Don't say it was in Atlantic City. I was like, where are these people getting these cards from? What do you know? What like what what resort was it at? I'm pissed. I'm pissed.
dude, I, I was literally Googling. I, I literally Googled when I was there. I Googled where, like, I, I think I Googled, like, Fleer baseball cards and then Ocean Resort Casino because I was like, why do so many people have these bags? That's insane. I've always wanted to go to the National, and I was there, and I didn't even realize it. <laughs> Gary V was there? Holy shit. What was the highlight and low light of WolfsCon? I don't know. I don't know if I would say there was necessarily... I mean, the low light of WolfsCon, I guess, would be the the combined 40,000 steps that uh, we all did during the weekend because, you know, a lot of walking on the beach, a lot of walking uh, in the beach town, a lot of walking uh, on the boardwalk, and it was it was hot. It was definitely hot. It was like 85 and, and humid, and it was right, you know, the sun beaming right down on us. It was... Uh, that was, you know, it wasn't a bad thing, though. I mean, it could have been worse. It could have been raining and stuff. But the highlight, I mean, the high, dude, go-karts on Saturday, we did, like, a go-karting thing, an indoor go-karts, and that was a lot of fun. Um, But I think, like, on Saturday, we went, oh, no, I'm stuck. Oh, no, I'm stuck. On Saturday, we went to a uh, sit-down restaurant, outdoor restaurant type thing and that 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 was probably a highlight everybody got drinks and we got like apps and and all got to chill it's all good stuff mike was not there no i hung out with decoy not too long ago though because he was in new jersey so we came over the crib And I'll be hanging out with Decoy in September because I'm going to, Kate and I are going to Disney again. And every time we go to Disney, we hang out with Mike. I received some IRL bits. That's true. 3D printed bits. Check this out, Dan. You'd appreciate this. Look at this. 3D printed 100 bits right here. Received bits IRL. From Old Sloppy. Is there money inside? No, but if you bring this to San Francisco to the Twitch offices, they exchange it for USD. So anytime I'm in San Francisco, we could we could do that transaction. What did I get to drink? I got um I'm pretty sure I got a Pepsi. I got a Pepsi, but what I got to eat is a little more exciting. It's like a German it's like a German uh, beer garden place, but they have, like, really good apps. So I got the beer garden pretzel, which was fantastic, with a beer cheese sauce. And then I also got fried cheese curds uh, with a maple aioli dipping sauce, which was honestly the star of the show. And then what else did I... Oh, I got the bratwurst as well, which had, like, bacon and caramelized onions on it, and that was also fire. Um, just a lot of good food there at the beer garden right on the boardwalk in AC. It was a, it was a, it was a fantastic time. I could show you the pick right now. Google photos. Let's see here. Google photos. Here it is. This is the beer garden. There's me, Kate. Here's the whole crew. We had this table and that table pretty much booked out. There was live music. Uh, it was a, it was a fantastic time. Honestly, yeah, the cheese curds were the, were the money. We played some disc golf. Here's some disc golf action. Here's my boy Wes throwing a disc. An absolute fire disc. Sweet. Right down. Sheesh, beauty. And then we watched the F1 race in the sports book. Uh, we played some mini golf. We played some spike ball on the beach. And then right here, this is kind of like one of the main group photos we got. We're missing about three or four people from this picture, but this is one of the main group photos. Everybody at WolvesCon. WolvesCon 5. 
V-A-B? Are you talking about? Across from me? Yeah, him? <laughs> you think uh, John, very angry bird, looks like me? It was two and a half full days of just absolute pogs nonstop, just all across the board. WolvesCon 5, another success. Four years of doing the, the WolvesCon, it's been, it's been a pleasure every year. Oh yeah, Rare Merch, it's right here next to me. If you went to the convention, you got a WolvesCon 5 shirt, black tee. Wait for the back, wait for the back. <laughs> WolvesCon weekend, New Jersey, AC, LBI badges. And then not only did you get a shirt, not only did you get a shirt, but you got a custom WolvesCon 5 badge. Holographic, because you, you gotta. And then you get a lanyard as well. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, there was exclusive merch. I, I I honestly haven't been saying exclusive because we had like 40 plus RSVPs and a lot of people had to back out because of travel costs, which is completely understandable because travel costs recently have been absolutely astronomical. So we've had a decent amount of people back out. So I think when I do my next Wolves drop, uh, merch drop, which is going to be this month, I think I'm actually going to offer some of the WolvesCon leftover stuff if people want to buy them. Mm. So I haven't really been saying exclusive, but hey, if you came to WolvesCon, you got it for free. In your size. I traded mine to Gary V for a Zach Granky rookie card. Gary V knows what's up. Dan, you know my really good friend Waldo works for Gary V? Super random. <laughs> Look around the farmhouse, she says. Okay. This month? Yeah. Yeah. Um, we're going to be doing some Wolves merch this month. I mean, honestly... It's kind of been locked and loaded and ready to go. Honestly, since before we did Dan's merch and then Ryan's merch ran, and yeah, the Wolves merch is gonna probably pop this month. It's it's like pretty much done. It's all designed. Yeah, my buddy Waldo works for uh, Vayner Media. So he makes like TikToks for them, for him. He's in meetings with Gary V all the time. He makes TikToks for like their clients. They're like, he, he does like Scott's lawn care. He does like Wawa planters. Okay, little hoop cam action, 2112. the back rim and in oh boy I hope this gets cartoons Guys, I've been watching so much Alone lately. Have you guys you guys watched the season eight of Alone on Netflix? The show is so good. I want to go back and watch the other seasons on History Channel. What season should I go back and watch? If there's any Alone Alone watchers out there, what season should I go back and watch? Because I'm gonna t I'm almost done with season eight. I'm tearing through it. All right, this looks like the area we're going to have to open up our uh, next Airbnb at. 
our bed and breakfast. The Patagonia one. Do you know what season the Patagonia one is? Like number wise. These red things up here. Oh, berries or something? Season three. Okay. How do we get to the right? Julia. A farm? Corn? Sabine Monument. Oh, I, okay. I see. I see. I see. I see. We got to go all the way down then to the right. And the one where they're in couples. Oh, that's interesting. So you're actually not alone. Did they change the name of the show for that season? To Together? Oh, dropped off at different locations. Have to find each other. Nice. the valuables that's a lot of water indeed it is we already rebuilt that so we we're already over in this area what were we doing we didn't talk to anybody Oh, yeah, I, f I remember being over here. Five guests have completed their stays at some of your... Okay, okay, okay. We got three five-star ratings at our Timber Crossing location. It's good stuff. Couple of decorations. Okay. Oh yeah, we got trapped in this farm over here. All right, let's go talk to this guy. Julia, no, this is the last time you're not taking anything from the garden. Please, there's barely anything left and the potatoes aren't even seasoned. Oh, I didn't mean to barge. Oh, you didn't? Well, you did anyway. I'm sorry. Oh, no, um, I didn't mean it to come off that way. Backbeardsk has redeemed Taco Bell Bone Wolves Poggy 500. Batbeard, thank you for the 52 months. Thank you for uh, redeeming that Taco Bell Bong. I actually had Taco Bell last night with Kate and it was fantastic. I don't know if it was because we went to the drive-thru, got our food, pulled into the parking lot, ripped it open, and shoved it down our mouths. But it was just, it was like hot, it was fresh, it was, it was just so good. Sometimes Taco Bell doesn't hit that time. It, last night it hit. It hit hard, for sure. Spicy potato burrito, oh my gosh. And then, of course, chicken quesadilla. You'll just have to look for some food somewhere else. I'll never say no to a warm, glistening potato. True. But that's not why I'm here. That was stupid of me to assume. That's not close to stupid. I'm Hank. I live in the thicket with my mom and two best buds. Nice to meet you, Hank. I'm Julia. I don't get a lot of visitors. Well, I do, but they usually don't talk. They just take, and I don't have a lot left to give. 
that is my go-to at Taco Bell. Spicy potato t uh, burrito is probably my favorite thing at Taco Bell. It's on the vegan menu, but it is so good. It's probably the best thing there. But then the chicken quesadilla is a, is pretty much every time I go, I get the chicken quesadilla. Mainly because of the sauce inside the chicken quesadilla. It's so good. Always caught by surprise, Julia the goat was the only remaining resident in this huge estate. She seemed very invested in her vegetable garden, but the rest of the property didn't consider her that much. The intense aroma coming from her house signaled a knack for cooking, a hunch reinforced by Hank's rumbling tummy. I'm not here to take anything. The opposite, actually. I was wondering if this old house was occupied. I think it could use a fresh coat of paint. Well, it used to be. I guess not anymore. No one's been inside the old captain shack in ages. Do you mind if I take a look? No, only if you don't mind going anywhere near my garden. Okay. Okay, then. Chicken quesadilla is your go-to? Yeah, it's it's like a can't-miss menu item. Clear out any debris. We already did that. Pinewood planks, okay. There we go. All right. It's pretty much rinse and repeat at this point. It does look like we have an upstairs in this place, which is pretty sick. We do have an upstairs. Talk to Sabine about building a camp. We really need a bus station here. Where do you get the bus, the bus signs? We need more bus signs. We need to talk to Sabine, but we also need to visit our other properties to make sure they're at capacity. Looks like I'm getting Taco Bell tomorrow. Oh, we talked about it too much. The naked chicken chalupa. I actually did have that. I thought it was pretty good. How do you feel about the pacing in this game, Jay? Very slow. <laughs> but that's not necessarily a bad thing. It's probably a bad thing to stream it as content, but this feels like a really fun game to like just play and zone out on your own time. But uh Yeah, it's a slow burn for sure. It's more this game is more about like it's less about like managing and more about like world building and like character development and like just cool like you know art and stuff there's a lot of dialogue and again not really knocking it um but it's just maybe not the best stream game but i felt like i wanted to play a little bit more of it I just can't read all this dialogue, man. It's insane. Especially after how much I talked this weekend. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Go to the dark grove and find Sage for Julia. Honestly, do we have Sage? I guess not. Definitely feels more like a mindless kind of management type game. Considering most of the resource collecting is literally just hitting the E button twice. Like watch this, there's wood here. You just hit it and then hit it again. Like that's, that's the extent of it. Again, these are not necessarily bad things. It's just, 
That's just what it is. I don't know which way Dark Grove is. I hope it's this way, but I don't know. Pacing in Peepo Island? 10 out of 10. Peepo Island, that, that game was something. That was something for sure. It looks like we can't even exit up here. What does this say? To Winterberry. Like, the, it, the, what I will say about the pacing of this game is it fits this game. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like if it was more fast-paced and higher intensity and stuff, it would just not vibe with, like, the art and stuff. So, I do think it fits the game, personally. Where did I come in this place? Over here? The Timber Crossing. Well, let's go back there, like I said, to check on our uh, our establishments. I did hear that, Brandon. I'm excited about that. We should get a uh, a community game lined up. We should just we should I should just do it right now. Why don't we just make the announcement right now? Thursday what 8 p.m eastern so i can uh get on and do my thing and maybe try out some of the courses solo and then we could we could do because I, as i remember you can't pick the courses multiplayer so i want to definitely try out the new courses but i would love to get some community races in what's up phil hello good to see you my guy how are we doing Twenty three, what the hell? Twenty three decoration. Volscon was fantastic. They're all about privacy now. Wow, good on you, Facebook. Well done. What's up, C-based? Retro jukebox. Book cabinet. Possum clock. Let's try to get the decoration score up in one of the places. Guys, is it concerning that, like, the tiniest little spiders of all time are, like, I don't know where they're dropping from. Like, is that a pro? Like, if those, if, like, if the tiniest spiders of, of all time are dropping from my ceiling, that means there's, like, a big mama one and, like, it's giving birth somewhere. I don't know, like, where is all this happening? I, there's... The ceiling's, like, completely shut off from any, like, area above it. It's... <laughs> no! <laughs> Man's got an infestation. I feel like it's a little concerning. I, I really... I'm not, like... I don't... If spiders can chill, like, that's fine. I'm not, a, I'm not like, terrified of spiders or anything, but... I just feel like it's something I need to stop before it gets worse type scenario. Actually, let's see what bedrooms are already taken. Arrives tomorrow. So bedroom three is open. Let's try to let's try to make bedroom three. Do 
Does it not tell me what bedroom's what? How do we find out what bedroom is what? Bedroom four, bedroom two, bedroom three. Okay. Um. No, 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 no. Wait, I have two of these? I bought two? Now it's plus 15. Hmm. I got one, two, three, four, four spots of shelves so we could go buy a bunch of plants and shit. Kind of unless you want to get an exterminator, it is what it is. Yeah, I don't want to do that. It's not that big of a problem. It's just if like baby spiders are dropping in front of me while I'm down here, is it, pro is it happening like all the time? Can't afford that. This is probably a dumb way to spend my uh, my money right now because I think we're about to open up a new spot. How do I get this off of there? There we go. This people this guy's going to have a jukebox in in their room. How's that? Okay, now it's plus 19. Still not great. And moving a spider nest outside, I'd use a stick to gently scrape it off the ground, and the stick flicked the spider right <laughs> into my eye. <laughs> oh, no. Yo, good luck, Phil. I hope you kill it, my brother. I hope you kill it, my brother. Okay, we have no guest requests. We just had some. Cock a doodle do. 19. I mean, I can't. 19, I just can't. Why is it telling me I can move him into bedroom two? It's weird. Can I have multiple people in this one bedroom? There's only one bed though. Strange. Let's go down here real quick. Very intimidating. No, 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 no. You got this. You got this. Phil, you're more than capable. You got this, my brother. This would pog you up. 
This would pog you up. Who did it? Casual Forest Fire! Thank you very much. Appreciate the 36 months. How's it going, Casual Forest Fire? How are we doing? Just pop the jukebox in there because I accidentally bought two of them. Active guest, zero. Bedroom three still has no hygiene? Why? How is that possible? 23 and two. How do you get your comfort up that high? How do you raise the comfort? Did I get a better bed and not realize it? No. Shabby pellet bed recipe. How do I get a better bed? I, I don't know what to tell all these people. Like, I, I don't have a comfort level over five. I don't know what to tell you, Chief. I don't have an eight. These guys are going to give bad reviews, but I don't know how to get my thing up. Where's Dark Grove? Find Sage for Julia. Have a favorite moment at WolvesCon? I, mean, I don't know if I would say favorite moment. But there's just so many good times, man. I mean, the go-kart was... The go-karting was really fun. Like, indoor go-karts. Um, our, like, lunch that we all had together on the boardwalk in AC at the beer garden. I was up there, you know mini golfing at lbi just sitting on the beach playing spike ball in lbi there's just so much so so many good times it's really hard to say <laughs> yeah they have teach grassy how to at a gamble hit the slots grassy hit the slots he was killing it and by killing it i mean losing all 25 of his free dollars <laughs> Disc golf, yeah, disc golf. It's hard. It's hard to beat disc golf just because disc golf is such a fun thing to do no matter what. And then add on, you got like everybody uh, in the community kind of with you doing it. It's just like it's a wombo combo that's hard to be beat. I learned how to play spike ball. I also learned I'm garbage at spike ball. <laughs> that is not true. You never even played it. Never even played it. I, I'm not very good at spike. Spike ball is hard, man. It's, it's just straight up hard thing to play. Dark Grove. Here we go. That's sage. These are mushrooms. Charcoal lily.
That semi pro spike ball tutorial got in my head. <laughs> A bunch of mushrooms here. What a strange wooden leg. You again? I think we got off on the wrong foot. So like a nerd in a board game shop, I dive right in, getting my little trinket fix. I'd kill for an egg dippy. What the hell's an egg dippy? Cook one egg dippy for Gus? A little bready stick dipped inside a creamy egg would really hit the spot. An egg dippy. I, can, I don't think I can say I've ever had that. Yeah, Phil. It's bad. I can't rem... Like, honestly, the past couple of years... I don't know what it is, but I... Uh, for some reason... Like, around this time of year, I wasn't like, oh, I can't wait for football. I guess I was still enjoying the summer. But I, I've already turned the corner. I'm already, like... I'm good on summer, and I'm just, like, ready for football. It's bad. Like, I'm ex I'm very excited for Madden this year, which has me very nervous about it being absolute trash. <laughs> but everything looks pretty promising in the franchise mode, like, updates they've done. Yeah, it's bad. Like, I did a whole stream the other day where I literally designed a fantasy football poster for my league in 2018. Just strictly so I could, like, look up football stats and, like, look up pictures of football players and, like, create a design around it all. Like, that's, 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 that's about as sad as it gets. But yeah, I've done some mock drafts already, and usually I'm not the one to do mock drafts, like for fantasy. Usually my friends are doing mock drafts at this point. I'm usually like, nah. Nah, nah, nah. Okay, so we did end up getting the sage. I know, I guess cooking the egg dippy is in a different area. That's okay, Phil. You could live vicariously through the stream. You know how we do with the franchise mode on the stream, the, the Sim franchise. You guys have much of an impact on our franchise team as I do. I take your guys' thoughts, suggestions, ideas all the time. It's a joint effort. But yeah, I can't believe Deshaun Watson only got six games. Like, I knew it was going to happen because they were saying four to seven was rumored. But I, if you're Roger Goodell, you have to slap more games onto that suspension. Or, like, like Calvin Ridley can't be suspended for a year, right? Like, that can't happen. There's no way. I looked into, like, the details of what actually happened with Calvin Ridley. And supposedly he bet on a parlay, which basically means like you bet on multiple games and only you only win if those multiple games turn out. And he bet a parlay, like a six game parlay. And one of them was the Atlanta Falcons, which was the team he was on. And like, it was like not a huge bet or anything. And like he lost the bet and it's just like, what? <laughs> 
You're gonna suspend him for a year? And he, yeah, that, that was the other thing. He wasn't even in the game. He wasn't even playing that week, so it's not like you could even thrown it or something. And you're gonna suspend him for a whole year, but then Deshaun Watson has like 20 sexual assault cases against him and he gets six games? <laughs> what? What's that? What? What, what do you, what, what, what's going on? Like $500, which is, is essentially the same as me betting $5. Not e like, it's probably me betting like $2. Relative to how much money that he has. Classic NFL. The NFL is going to NFL. I mean, if Deshaun's only getting six games, is, is, is Amari Cooper draftable? Because Amari Cooper's now on the Browns. I feel like that's going to be Deshaun Watson's favorite target. But it's like you're just going to have Amari Cooper with a... Is it Jacoby Brissett starting the first six games? I mean, Amari Cooper for the first six is probably not going to be putting up that good of numbers, but I think he's going to be a, a payoff at the end of the season. Yeah, so Jacoby Brissett's going to win that job. Jacoby Brissett's going to win that job. Jacoby Brissett's a pretty good quarterback, all things considered. We actually got to go this way, I think. No, she's still up here. Hold on, let's go do this first. No faith in the chosen Rosen. Just stopping by to say hi. Hope all is good. Yo, Nick Drifts, thank you very much for the 78 months. Thank you. That, that's not the... Did you mean... Did you mean Josh Rosen is on the Browns? Who? I don't know. Who's Drew Rosen? Did you mean Josh Rosen? Oh yeah, Josh Rosen is is uh, there. I mean, he could give Jacoby Brissett at least like a bit of a battle in camp, but Jacoby Brissett a, is a professional quarterback. I got your sage right here. TJ, you want to play some Fall Guys? I, I want to play Fall Guys. Thanks again, Nick Drifts, for the 78 months.
You do? Guys, I have Disney Emoji Blitz on my phone, and I can't stop playing it. I really, I really gotta, I gotta, I gotta uninstall the app. It's, uh... <laughs> All right, um, Fall Guys with me and TJ right now in the Discord. All right, I sent it out. You ready, Teej? Let's do, let's do this. Little dinner stool recipe, small plywood table, tiny buffet. Oh, our, ne our next bed and breakfast is gonna have a buffet. Dining rooms. Consume meals. Oh, you get to cook. That's where we can make the ed egg dippies. <laughs> Dining rooms. Okay. Yeah, let's finish out the stream tonight with some uh, Fall Guys. I want to play Fall Guys, one, but also two. I bought an Undertaker, a WWE skin pack for Fall Guys, and I haven't played with it yet, so I want I want to do that. I want to play with my Undertaker skin. What brand is this hat? Uh, 47. It is part of the MLB pastel collection, which unfortunately I believe is sold out. I think it's sold out. Updating Fall Guys? Wait, why? Why is that bad? Goddamn 47. <laughs> Plan on coming to some drift events in New Jersey next year and driving. Oh, shit. Would I ride? Uh, probably not. I think I'm too scared for that. This seems so loud. Look at that. We got King Kofi. Kofi Kingston. We got to rock the Undertaker. We got to rock the Undertaker. So sick. Hey. Hello. What's up? What's up? This sounds, this sounds normal, right? Yeah. Talk again? Hello, is this normal? Am I normal? I think it's normal, yeah. Okay. I, I literally don't think I've ever grouped up with people in this game. We go in duos? I guess, right? I've never I mean, played it. have to. We can we can go solos and just uh you know play normally. Duos is kind of sick though. Yeah, I've never played it. I, would, I wouldn't mind trying it. The skin is too damn. It, it's just a, it's amazing. As I was uh logging off of your stream, I heard you say you got a WWE pack. Yeah, do you just wait till you enter? Am I about to drop some bills? It is still available, which is kind of surprising. It's incredible. <laughs> I want to dress up as this for Halloween. Like not Undertaker, but fall. I want to dress up as oh, Fall Guys <laughs> Undertaker. Bean Taker? Yeah, Bean Taker. 
Damn, I, I know I haven't played much, but my freaking battle pass is barely moved. Is the battle pass like really hard to advance? This it moves is, pretty slow. This is crazy. Duo show. This is taking a long time to get going here. Here we what go. What happened? I don't know. It just took a while. Oh. Downloading content. Please don't say restart. Please don't say restart. We didn't have to restart. We got something to claim. Nice. Um, this work? Voice, oh, oh. No, close, close. Dude. How no, good is just, it? Let me just look at the shop real quick. The other wrestlers oh, are baby. Asuka and uh, King Kofi. Oh, it's Xavier Woods. It, I mean, that's what I meant, yeah. Pretty sick. Dude, Taker is wild. Asuka's cool, too. Oscar is I just, very cool. I got the bundle because I can I do this emote for you? How do you emote in the lobby? I'm watching it right now. Oh yeah, it's so good. The horn. Oh baby. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to eventually buy that, but I feel like that'll take a while. So let's go home. Ready? Let's do this. Duo show, here we go. Um, haven't played in a little while, so excuse the rust. Oh uh, yeah, you're fine. I um I kinda stink at Fall Guys. That's sick. Yeah. It's a good game to stink at. It is. <laughs> I feel like when you get too good and then you're just matched against like tryhards, it's like it's not fun anymore. I like I like where we're at in the MMR. Yeah, nah, the, um, it was working in our favor for sure. I was getting a little scared because we did, uh, we went pretty crazy with the string of dubs. So I'm hoping that they didn't mm. bounce us up to uh, a level I don't belong in. True. What's up, Rebirth? Hello. Good to see you. We miss you this weekend. Hope you're doing well. When's the next Eraser stream? Is that that one game we played for like 45 <laughs> minutes with Zach and his friend and TJ like one time like a year ago? Yeah. Nick I can I, yeah, I can assure, I can assure you that it's ne it will never play that again. Nick just likes hearing me say that I'm never going to play Eraser again. Yeah, I won't either. Not cuz it's bad, but it's just very for forgettable. <laughs> I just why would I just walk right into a gap? Watch out for the Yeetus. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. I fucked it. Like fell off? No, 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 no. Dude, I'm so bad at the fan. Yeah, the fans don't work for me. I'm fucked. I'm fucked. We we're probably out. Bumpy. No, no, no. We're all right. I don't know when to jump on the damn fan. I fell off again. I'm rowing the other way. I'm rowing the wrong way. Yeah, maybe we are fucked. Yeah, we're fucked. I just don't know when you when do you leave to go to the fan. 
I'm just, I'm stuck. Uh, I got, I'm in. I'm in. I'm in. I'm, I'm not. I was just stuck on the fan. Oh no. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Oh no, it could be over. I feel like my depth perception on this shit just doesn't I know, work. that's what I was saying. Here it is, here it is, here it is. So you go oh, here? Yeah, yeah, it just started oh, wait, leaving. Wait. Nah, we're fucked. <laughs> warm up, warm up. Warm up, warm up, oh no. Get me out. Get me out. Oh no, no, no. <laughs> How was WolvesCon? It was fantastic, Rebirth. It was amazing. It went great. Okay, now I'm getting a... Yeah, dude. What the hell is like going on? Are absurd amount of levels yeah. right now? <laughs> what was that? What's going on? All-time worst performance? They just pepper you with some XP? That was weird. Although I did link my two accounts and it like wiped my progress so maybe that was it giving it back or something mm. went to bed at 7 30 because i feel yucky and woke up with a gnarly fever oh no kells wait you went to bed like um four hours ago and now you woke up that's not good i'm sorry about that that's no fun at all hope you feel better i feel like a very large amount of people today has, has said they've gotten sick. Oh, really? In your chat. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> huh. You were communicating with them. Yeah, I just, was it was it a no, like more than a normal amount of people? I think so. Hmm. Because people be getting sick all the time. People do be getting sick. I, um... When I got home yesterday from sitting in just the most traffic that's ever existed, mm -hmm. um, got home, threw on some NASCAR by the end of stage two, snoozing. Out, yeah. Woke up at 9 p.m. Oh, no. Thought I was fucked. Went back to sleep at like oh. 1.30. Okay. Not bad. That's not bad. No, no, no. Oh, no. Okay, okay. How we doing? We're good. Oh, I'm in. Squad position six. Okay, okay. Well, that's good, Kels. Just sick. NyQuil and melatonin in my veins. <laughs> Dude, I, I ever I can never take NyQuil. I just Really? No, it feels like fictional sleep. It's the weird I don't know how other people <laughs> don't feel it. Yeah. No, I know what you mean. It's the weirdest thing. I'd that's, rather not that's sleep. That's just being on drugs. That's what it is. That's just, it's just drugs. I hate that. And some people like it, some people don't. That's why I've never done it, I guess. Well. That's the only way I can ex describe it. When I wake up after taking NyQuil, I feel like it's fictional sleep. Like I just faked it for eight hours. My brain was just like, this is, we're pretending. Bam, 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 bam. Yeah, I fell asleep fast and hard last night, and I w went. I woke up at like 11:30 today. I like I needed. I think I got probably 12, maybe 11. I'll say we went to sleep a little late. Um. Uh, excuse me, why did my bean just malfunction? I'm back at the start. The old what? malfunctioning bean. Late night into F1 race. Um, 
That'll do it, usually. It was, it was a little tough. We persevered, though. We made it through. Oh, no! I need I might, some people to, like, I'm, really get fucked here. I might be screwed. What am I doing? Oh, I don't really know. I got a little lost there for a second. Dude, this shit sucks, man. Jay, you, need to be, you need to be ahead of me here, dude. This is terrible. What is this? This is what it feels like when you sleep on NyQuil. <laughs> just a I bunch just of discs just rolling around and you just can't get on the next one. That's your brain on NyQuil. Did you finish? Wow, this no, course is so long. I'm not having my best run here. Oh my good gracious. Wait, am I just am I just stuck here forever? I I don't know why I did that. It feels like it's not supposed to be this hard and I'm doing something wrong. Yeah, I feel like I'm making it way harder on myself than it needs to be. Okay, I mean, I'm gonna finish, but I don't know how we're doing. Yeah, I'm, I'm right behind you. It's not looking good no, for us, I don't think. Good. Wait. Oh, 12? 12? 12? 12? Wait. Oh, 13? 13. Need no one else to finish. Is that even possible? Uh, we'll see. Okay, okay. This person's very close, but struggling, fuck. Mm. Just, just like that, just like yeah, that, fuck. Yeah, just like that, we're dead. Should we just do we leave? Just, do we just bounce? I guess so, I don't wanna okay. watch this shit. Wait, forfeit all rewards? Mm-hmm. Is that real? Wait, it's taken down. Oh, I already quit. I mean, you can collect. You're there. Yeah. Late night into F1 race into disc golf. True. True, true. Did you tell the beer garden expects this again next year? Um, I talk a little bit about the future of WolvesCon at the end of the recap today. And, uh, yeah, it's a little bit up in the air. I did not automatically, like last year, confirm uh, WolvesCon next year in the same place, same time, same everything. Even though it went even better than WolvesCon 4, like, as far as, like, the weekend, um, I don't know. I just, uh, yeah, I kind of talk about you think it. We, it's... You think we've peaked and you go out on top? Yeah, I just don't want to just keep doing the same thing every year. Like, I, I I, just, it just, I don't know. I don't know. And and it, that could just be as simple as, like, taking off a year or two and then coming back again with the the, the old bread and butter. Um, I, Me, personally, I, I could do it easily. It's, you know, a 50-minute drive, and it's not that big of a, like, hassle for me personally but it's just the the wolves con as a whole you know we keep we could keep doing this and then it'll just eventually the people that come every year are going to be like okay i'm not going to go to ac again this year or go to the beach again this year in new jersey I, you know um every year we do get some different people um but yeah i don't know well and nick wasn't there this year which was really nice you know with no fat daddy yeah i know that was the reason where really i was like ruins the vibes i was like man wolf's con seven or wolf's con six is sounding really good right now but nick will probably show up yeah that's why i was like maybe maybe not next year grass pad you were fantastic you were fantastic my brother everyone great vibes all around yeah, it was like there was literally nothing that could have gone better with the weekend. Um, so it literally is not on account of any of that. It's just 
I don't know. We're just going to keep doing the same thing over and over. I, I just feel like there's more things we can do. And I kind of talk at the end of the recap, like, it's not really as easy as being like, oh, let's just do it in California or Colorado or Michigan or whatever. Like, insert state here. It's not really that easy because, yeah. Um, I know what's kind of good in this area. That was the whole, like, premise of the whole entire idea of the con and stuff. So, yeah, just do another state is not, not gonna fly. Nah, uh, Nick, you know, you, you got, you got plenty of, plenty of real estate to take advantage of if you ever decide to come to New Jersey. The Brothers G would be happy to host. Oh, yeah. I just, like, when I think of a major city DCJ design, I start sweating. Like, I understand the appeal of doing a major city because it's easier to get to and, you know, it's, a, it's, but, like, just congregating 30, 35 people in a major city, just, ugh, ugh. Like, I love AC so much because it's, like, no one really cares about it. But it's, like, a wide open space. And it's, like, you could group up on the boardwalk with 30 people in AC and it won't make a difference. Like, if you're, like, 30 people deep, deep on the corner in Chicago, it's just going to be a mess. <laughs> or just any major city, really. So I've it's really this one. It's really tricky. I have played this one? Or no, I watched it be played in one of our community games. It's something like you get points by going through these rings, then you reset and get more points. Oh yeah, okay, okay. I yeah. see what we're working with here. Just don't, just don't get freaking... Fucked like I did. Yeah, I mm -hmm. fucked myself a, a couple of times here. Okay. Get off, Taker! Oh, God. I feel like we're doing okay. I think we're doing okay. Hit no, me, no, me. no! I was three points away, and I think the end gives you three. Oh, yeah. We're in? We're in! Oh, okay, nice. Oh, the points is combined. Oh, wow, we just got in. Wow. You know, I feel like we know a lot about each other, and I'm going to be honest with you, you throwing out the absolutely not Six Flags, I hate Six Flags, fuck Six Flags, <laughs> whole thing that you did before that was like you? really surprising. That's really, really, really weird. I guess I we don't being, know. I, I can just see you being indifferent about Six Flags. I just couldn't believe the passion. Well, no, okay, I am indifferent about Six Flags. But hosting okay. a convention of, like, not a convention, but hosting a meetup of multiple, multiple people in there felt, I felt a huge disdain. Okay. I guess it, I guess it amplified my indifference. Because I don't, like, if someone asked me to go to Six Flags, I wouldn't go. Period. No, no, yeah, I wouldn't go. All the boys are going to Six Flags to, uh, I, next I, week. I wouldn't go. You're, you already have nothing to do. No. Kate's away. Kate's away. She's not going to be <laughs> home. I really don't think I It's go. like, nah, hit me up after. Yeah, I just, it's like you and disc golf. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> There's just like I nothing. Think, I, I think like if I had absolutely nothing to do, I would go to disc golf i might not like partake in all of it right like walk with it yeah yeah i mean i guess but i'm paying admission fee like disc golf sure. ain't got any of that shit all right i get it i get it yeah i i'm just i'm not a thrill ride guy 
I love Disney and I love attractions and I will do them all. Uh, but when it comes hate, to like, hate poster. I yeah, I'm not a thrill seeker. Wow. But like the like, I don't hate all roller coasters though, because I like like you know more not thrill roller coasters. I don't have a problem like. The Snow What's White it? and the Seven Dwarves at Disney, yeah, I that's like. That's what I was going to bring up, dude. That's what I was going to bring up. The Slinky? Slinky Dog, I like. Yeah. I love both of them. But, like, though they're not thrill seat. They're not, like, harnessed in. Like, your ha your feet are hanging. You're upside down. You're corkscrew. Right. You're not so, King so, Ka, like, getting, so you know. So, Nitro is, like, just past your threshold. Yeah, I went on Medusa and vowed to never go on a ride. No, again. Medusa, no, come on, man. I, is I is like Medusa maybe... the one with the feet hanging? Yes. Yeah, no, fuck that. I and hate Medusa that. was like known as like a pretty rough roller coaster. Yeah, I hated it. <laughs> okay, so you don't have to do that one. Oh god, dude, this this one is just not my. Not my bag. What if I do really well? Then we could still quality. I'm like already in. Like I literally qualified second. Ow. It's just I don't so, know. You, you, got, you just gotta get so lucky. That's what no, I fucking you're, hate. You're good, you're good, you're good. Yeah, until you're good. I'm not. You're good, you're good. You're yeah, clean, you're clean! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh. P1? P1 I, yeah, spot? yeah, wow. That's wow. impressive. We did good. Yeah, Rebirth. And it's funny you say that because I've thought of like other boardwalks in, in New Jersey and like, if, oh my gosh, like Point Pleasant, I feel like it would be a nightmare too for some reason. Well, it's and just like, like not as much to do. Yeah, there's not as much to do. And it's just like, it's a smaller boardwalk and more densely populated. Like, the fact that AC is like not that popular makes it so appealing to me. Like it's, there's on, still and people. On, and on top like, of that, it's like way more adult theme than like Point Pleasant is like very much aimed towards family and kids. True. Whereas like AC, like, you know, you not can that have a we're drink. doing like, we're not doing like big adult stuff, but. No. Oh God. Wow, I just I fucked the jump shots. What the fuck was that all about? Oh, uh, Jay, you kind of fucked me. Oh no. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. We're taking out bottom levels. Hey, only one of us has to win this, you know. True. We got some gamers here. We got gamers. Okay, I'm on. I'm on blue level. Just absolute, absolutely decimating. A very large hole in the middle. Stay to the outside if you can. Oh no, bad, 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 no. bad. Okay, I'm gonna start jumping. I'm jumping, yeah. This is bad, though. Oh, no, I got someone on my left. Oh, no. Yeah, I'm with you. OK, this people don't bad. care. People don't yeah, care. This people is don't bad. Care. This is bad. And we and we got uh, we got people way above us, too. Wait, Jay, we got to split. This is dude. bad. Oh, no, it's OK. No! no! Stop breaking all the shit down here, you Dude, crazies! So I can't tell if they're good or they're bad. They're bad! I'm bad! Nice and easy, nice and easy, nice and easy! Oh, you're, it's over. Wait! Stop. Wait! It's so close! Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> oh. It was so close! Wow.
We were we got we had we were like second. We had it. I made I made a couple bad decisions. That's unfortunate. Felt good though. Got the juices, you know, really flowing. Oh yeah, that was a really good round. But well, we made it to the fourth there, and I went up like three XP. That's what I'm saying. The the battle pass is a grind. I'm not sure if it makes any sense. Point Pleasant with my family. I was working there. They have a nice aquarium, but yeah, not a whole lot. Yeah, 100%. Jenkins is, is nice. Very nice aquarium. But yeah, I don't. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing. It's like, a, it, no it's a go good carts. boardwalk. It is a good boardwalk. Just maybe not for 30 people all at one time. Unless you're going to like Jenks. Yeah. Why'd you get eight levels all at once? I think it was because I connected my account and it wiped all my progress and then like they figured it got, out. I got it too. That happened to you too though. But I already did that whole process. Uh oh. I think they fixed it though. Remember when you did it and you lost everything? Yeah, but then I got everything again. Oh, I don't know. Maybe, maybe it was just, just like, maybe it was like half fucked. Yeah, maybe they're still behind on the battle pass stuff. I don't know. Dude, we got a fan again. I just, I don't get the fan mechanic. I don't really either. Yo, what's up, T-Honey? Hello. So fun hanging out with you this weekend. T-Honey the God. You're up there. Keep it up. Yeah, I feel pretty good. Just get right through here. Gets a little icy. Okay. Okay, getting absolutely decimated by this thing. Glitched right through it. I'm cheating. <laughs> oh, no. Did you watch any of SummerSlam? I didn't watch even a single second. Oh. It was pretty good, though. Yeah, I'm like halfway through it. It's really good so far. Man, I just really wish that there wasn't a fan. But I think I might have got oh! it. No! Yeah, I got fucked. I got it. Okay, simple, simple, simple. Just take it nice easy. And Let easy. it come to you. Nice and easy. I love the extra long boys. It's so funny. That's gonna <laughs> give you an advantage, right? <laughs> I don't know. Like that, if that dude dive? just dove. If that dude just dove, his oh, long ass no. head would have made it. The fridge oh, god. That guy's got the Undertaker top with the ballerina bottom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, honestly, Rebirth, I would I would watch the VOD again for sure because we go through some stuff, especially for the helmet cam on the uh, go-kart. That was a fun recap. But uh, yeah, most of the pictures we took were kind of posted in the Discord already uh, over the weekend, but not a ton of pictures you know like and people were just there in the moment and you know it didn't help that slash the splash and uh rex jet weren't there who are two members of the community that have like nice cameras and like taking pictures but yeah i paid like 10 bucks to get a helmet cam on the go-kart track and it was actually pretty sick oh my god i fucked it early Oh, whoa, the, I didn't expect. The oh, the low that? grab. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck, dude. I'm not. Oh, we're getting go. points, baby. Not... Good, 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 good. Oh, no. I didn't get the big, I didn't get the big boy at the end. Oh, me neither. The big boy's so important. Ah, oh, we getting points, we getting points. There we 
go. Look at that. Nice. Oh no, Rebirth, yeah, it was an indoor, it was a brand new indoor uh, go-kart track. It was not the one from last WolvesCon. <laughs> that one was, uh, that one was something. They still have those, but this is in a, this is in a different area. It's actually in the area that we went to the uh, arcade at WolvesCon for. It's in that same casino thing. Can we talk about the upgrade that that uh, that that arcade made? I mean, yeah. just across the board. Holy shit! Yeah, the luck. It's called Lucky Snake Arcade, and it's in the starts with an S. Showboat. Right next, showboat. Um, yeah, that arcade since WolvesCon Four definitely got like an upgrade. Like it feels like it's a more permanent location for an arcade and the the go-kart track is huge uh and really nice the carts are really nice like if that was, if if that arcade was 10 minutes closer that's like a like a once a month occurrence oh yeah yeah it's really cool bit of a hike though bit of a hike Yeah, I don't know. I might in a in you know a couple months, you know, probably like a couple meaning like uh, seven months, six months. I'll probably maybe take a little Google form kind of feeler, see how people feel about a Wolves Con six, same location, same deal, and uh, maybe go from there. I don't know. I'm just I'm not at the point right now where I'm gonna instantly confirm a Wolves Con six in the same spot just because we've been doing it for years now. Might be time for a change, or it might be time for a little break, and then come back to it. Get the people clamoring. They served me an old fashioned at that arcade. It was literally a solo cup with four ice cubes, five ounces of whiskey, and a cherry. <laughs> I know it. They had, but yeah, they had like a like a permanent now like pretty nice bar in that area too. Um, yeah, uh, last year was very like pop up feel. Yeah, it was. Like, hey, it, we need to we need to fill some space. Yeah. And here's some arcade games. Yeah. I'm Ooh, an idiot. See ya. See ya. <laughs> are, are you still in? Yeah, we're good. Okay. We got first. We're cracked. P1. Wow. P1, young Max. Only thing that would have made Wolves Con better is if Lewis Hamilton won on Sunday. Oh my God. Even though I bet on Max, I, I definitely would have marked out if. Uh... Lewis took the uh, took the dub. Max somehow got it again. I can't like uh, th just this. I'm I'm dreading this next month of like no F1, no hockey, no football. Like I'm I'm not gonna be okay. Thank God in like two weeks, uh, Madden comes out so I could fill it with like fictional football. But wait, no F1? Yeah, they're on like summer break. Oh, I hate that. Yeah, it's terrible. I hate that for all of us. Oh no, I fell real far. Oh no. It's okay, it's okay. Oh, so did I! <laughs> oh no. Uh, I'm still on purple. Um, your Undertaker friend, uh, you s grimy little fuck. <laughs>
Yeah, you gotta get way over to the other I side. Oh, I see it. Oh, I'm fucked. I'm fucked. I'm fucked. I'm fucked. Someone no. just fell right from. Yep, yeah, just cut me right off. <sighs> oh, you are no! also fucked. <laughs> we were third. Man. That's a heartbreaker. I mean, that guy's got it in the bag. Yeah. This banana smiley's got nothing. <sighs> Another valiant effort. Yeah, top three. You did fantasy NASCAR? Nice. <laughs> Dude, I used to do fantasy. fantasy I almost said fat, <laughs> fantasy. <laughs> fantasy NASCAR. So fancy. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, fantasy NASCAR. Very dope. I was into it for a while. Yeah? I mean, you kind of have to be into it. Yeah. I I mean, we, we do fantasy F1, but, like, it's just kind of weird. I don't know. I want to like it. I feel like it. there's not enough, um, there's not enough variables in F1 for fantasy to, like, make sense. Yeah. You know, you, yeah, it's you more like a preseason like guessing game, but then after that, it's not like you really can make changes. It's just, yeah, I don't oh. know. You get like a power driver. I don't even know. Mm -mm. AC is a wild place. It's true. I, I, it's a we, it's one of the weirder places in the world. It's like whenever I am going there. I'm excited and when I'm there, I'm like, this place is really cool and I'm having fun. And then when I leave, I'm like, I'd be okay if I never went back. <laughs> but then like, it, like you know, 10 months go by and I'm like, get excited again about going to AC. It's just, I think it's just a place you spend a day or two in and then like, and that's yeah, enough. that's and just that's good. It. Yeah. And you don't, obviously, you don't drink or like really gamble all that much either like think about no. the people who are drinking gambling making bad decisions and then and they go back they go back often yeah i mean it could definitely be very dark but that's pretty much any because you know i've had a few dark nights <laughs> we've recovered I mean, I, it was, I, WolvesCon Las Vegas would be fantastic. Like to tie it into the F1 race weekend there. Like even if people didn't go to the race or have tickets cause it's expensive, at least just being in Vegas for that weekend would be wild. Jay, I gotta be honest with you. I'm, I'm really, really, bad. I'm cracked. I don't know what happened. I just like lost my ability to make good decisions. I got us 53 points. I don't know if it's going to be good enough, but. I feel like I might be able to do something here. Love I'm making it. better decisions by the second. Love it. I'm pretty far away, though. That's how I feel about Vegas. Yeah, it's probably similar to pretty much every casino place. But like, honestly, when I'm in AC, I'm like, I'm, I'm. Uh, I am in awe. I'm like this, like the structures that are built and like the design of some of the interiors of the casinos are really goddamn cool. It's just sometimes surrounded by like sadness. A lot of it. Yeah. <laughs> so even even Caesar's Ghost Town, but like oh, yeah. it's cool as shit in there. It is really cool. Yeah. Sometimes everyone, like once a year, you just crave like a place that has zero windows that's just pumping oxygen into the room. Like there's just no real replacement for that. And then that also kind of smells like a little bit of cigarette smoke. I just love a little bit of cigarette smoke now. <laughs> just it's a just dash. Like, <laughs> yeah, like I can't have all my clothes smelling like cigarette smoke no, anymore, but no. like just a... <laughs> Just a, just a little, little sniff. Just a background. That's kind of what Lake George smelled like. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> I'll tell you what. You, I thought people stopped smoking cigarettes, and then I went to Lake George, and I realized, wow. 
<laughs> wow, not many people have stopped smoking cigarettes. <laughs> All right, six. It does it to us all, Nick. I love that I just have the Cleveland Browns 2022 depth chart up on my third monitor. <laughs> I, dude, I've, I've been there. You know what? I don't want to be the person who hasn't been there. Yeah, true. Donovan Peoples Jones. Classic. Boom, 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 boom. Classic, classic late round flyer that you hold on to for just a <laughs> week or two too long. Yeah. Has one 16 point game. You throw him in some trades. How many people have said, why do I have Donovan Peoples Jones on my roster? <laughs> <laughs> Are you more oh, no. excited for football season this year, than, like more than previous years, or, or like the same or less or what? Me? Yeah. I'm going the wrong way. Yeah, I always um, said I turned around too. Why? Why did that happen? I, uh, I am. I will say, out of the last, give or take five years, this is hands down the most excited I've been about a football season. Yeah. It's so know. weird. Even I, my, I was talking what, to my cousin Tony, who's saying the same thing. I don't know what's going on, and oddly enough, it's a really good baseball season. Like at least, like for me personally, you know. Right. Like I'm fully entertained by baseball right now, and I don't know. There's like something with football that like I cannot wait for. It's really strange. Especially, yeah, this this year for me too. And it's also like the Saints are probably gonna suck, so it's like. I don't even know. I'm just kind excited of for us there. Maybe no. I might have fucked us. We're still good. Still we're good. still good. We're not great, not but we're great. still in it. Is there not a timer on this shit? Okay. Okay. We made it. I think we made we're it. in. Yeah. yeah. I don't. I don't know what it is. I didn't do fantasy baseball this year. I think that has a good chunk to do with it. Yeah. Um. Because right now, you know, usually we're in the home stretch. Right. Um, but I, I, I don't know. I just feel like I haven't watched football in a really, really long time. Yeah, it just felt like a long off season for some reason. Like when the um, when the uh, when like the ESPN fantasy podcast goes back to like daily, I'm always yeah. like, yo, it's it's too early. Too early. What are what are we doing? Like, why why would you start this early? And I'm like itching for it. Yeah. I, I can't wait to listen to it every day. Yeah, same. Very weird. I don't know what they did this year, but Goodell strikes again. It's a behemoth. New Steelers quarterback in stadium name got me feeling Monka S about this season. Yeah, I don't know. I haven't watched much Kenny Pickett film, but... I feel I, I want it to happen for the Steelers. Like, I don't, I don't know. I've, Steelers are one of those weird teams that have always been kind of good, but I've never hated for some reason. Not, I don't... Just if, like, anything, if anything, kind of like the Steelers just a little bit. Yeah. I There's times I find myself rooting for the Steelers. But, yeah, I, I want Kenny Pickett to be good because of the whole Pittsburgh to Pittsburgh story. And New Jersey guy. New Jersey guy. Actually... Don't dox me, but very local New yeah, <laughs> Jersey very... guy. Us guy. Yeah. Um, small hands guy. I know that for sure. But Which we always root for. Love a small hands guy, Drew Brees. Oh, yeah, Lukey. Why is that? Why have you bowed out of fantasy? Just frustrated with it or league fell apart or what? I took a year off once. 
think it's good for the soul. I like don't really pay attention to it, so it doesn't really bother me. But... Oh god! Did you get fucked? <laughs> How was I the only one to get picked off from that? Were you in our group? Yeah. That's weird. Oh no. We oh, still, we're still in. Somehow. We're still in. I feel like if you get eliminated from that game, you do not deserve to make it to the next round. Oh, yeah, that one was I don't like understand. hard. I was surrounded by people. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't really know how you get eliminated on that one. Me neither. Like, I like I've gotten hit by the objects before, and it still doesn't eliminate. Just me. fall over. Yeah. See you, Rebirth. Good night. Sorry, missed that. Silver being very involved in multiple leagues. A lot of info you need to keep up with. Looking forward to a break. Totally understandable. I mean, honestly, there's nothing worse than multiple fantasy leagues. Like, I, two is like a hard cap max for me, but anything more than that is just ugh, not not great. Okay. Why am I trying this fan strat? I've never yeah. tried this. Don't do that. I'm not gonna do it. Oh God. DJ! <laughs> I finished, but I, you were there. I don't, I don't know why I did that. <laughs> I saw you slow up as the ball is coming back. I was trying not to slide into... I just really didn't want to slide into the third one. And I even said, I was I was going to say out loud, just take your time. You don't have to rush this. Oh no, I don't know. I think enough people might be fucked here. I don't know. I think know. we might be okay. Oh! Yeah, yeah, see it, go, go, oh! let's go! Oh, this I think... guy might be fucked too. Oh, saves it. Saves it. Okay. Shouldn't knock us out. Didn't. Okay, we're still in it. We're still in it. I was in four leagues the past three years. One was the Dynasty League. Way too much. Yeah. 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 That's. Yeah. Yes. Way too much is right. I mean, it'd be hard to enjoy football at that point. I mean, you're rooting for everybody and no one at the, all at the same time. Not even that. You're rooting for you're rooting for everyone and you're rooting against everyone all at the same time. Yeah, I'm in six. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. Oh my god. Can someone can someone tell me in like the three seconds before this starts how how do you win against the fan because I always just get knocked off immediately. Someone help, please, please, please! It's starting. <laughs> uh, I I don't I think you just like follow it. That's what I do. But eventually you can't. Really? The I platforms don't... move. Oh, I don't even know if I've ever done. You're the fan. Yeah. No, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Okay. You just gotta like actively fight against it, I guess. Did okay. anybody answer? Yeah, they said follow, follow fan, fan, which is what follow I follow fan. How are you supposed to follow fan when the platforms disappear? That's a good point. I think you can make it to the next platform though. So now I'm just fucked here. The fan goes that way. Why did I think the fan blew out from the middle? I jumped into the middle.
You're out too? Yeah. We okay. stink. See, this is what I'm saying. Like, it just ends so fast. It's the well, worst final. That is not good. Why did I yeah. think the fan was in the middle? <laughs> I was like, all the fans come and fight against it. I jumped towards the middle and it fucking tossed me. <laughs> yeah, I literally jumped with it. Oh shit, it's 1215 already? Damn. We can go LG. All right, LG then. Do, do, do. I was wrong. I just agreed with Jay. It's usually, <laughs> it's usually what happens when you agree with me. At that point, I just cheered for my Packers and lost interest. Yeah. It's Saints over everything, baby. I lost uh, Kate as a fan, unfortunately, this year. She is completely off the Saints. and uh, She's out. Yeah, she's done. What's she on? Oh, the Raiders. Big Raider the, fan. Huge. Derek Carr and Devontae Adams, both Fresno State. They okay. Link, linking right. up this year. She's getting a Devontae Adams jersey, and she is off and running. I respect it. Yeah, she really only cares about Fresno State players at the end of the day. Big Fresno State fan. The alum, yeah. She was almost in a class with Derek Carr. Almost. <laughs> <laughs> they had the same major. There was a year apart. Damn. Do, 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 do. That's a big loss to the old pack for sure, Lukey. The dead man. How sick is this, Maddie? I love the Undertaker skin. It's so good. What the fuck is going on? How'd you get so far ahead? I was just zooming. I think it's a lot to do with, like, if you pick the right pipes. I thought I was pretty piped. <laughs> Dude, holy oh, you're shit. Fucked, dude. <laughs> oh, I got fucked. This is wild. Everybody's getting fucked. Dude, when they release the creator tools and, and the map editor, it's gonna be so sick. Can you not push this? Oh. How do I never make it up there? I stink! Oh, no, 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 no. I'm through, baby. We in. Let's go. Can't wait to heat up the rest of my Chinese food from tonight. Ooh, what'd you go with? General Sal's chicken, little pork fried rice. We oh, ate yeah. all the we ate all the cheese wontons though. We just couldn't stop. The che cheese rangoon. <laughs> Love a little rangoon. Yeah, I don't know. We found like this really good Chinese food place. I think it's one of those like fake kitchen things, maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A little ghost kitchen. Yeah. I don't know. It just kind of popped up on Uber Eats one day and shit's fire. That's dope. Do, 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 do. Man, I love fried rice. I think we're going to have to get fried rice going on the, uh, on the Blackstone yes. immediately. Yeah, I'm actually a little embarrassed that I haven't done it yet. I am too. I have a hibachi so, chicken recipe that I could uh, help you with. Let's get it. I've just been so laser focused on, on perfecting a smash burger. Yeah. Which, 
We're getting pretty good at. Hell yeah. I made an Oklahoma Smash Burger in LBI, and it was the best one I ever made for sure. I don't know what makes it Oklahoma, but I'm interested. It's just you 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 really need a mandolin, but I just cut it really thin. But you basically thinly shave like onions oh, and yeah. you put them on the raw burger meat and then smash yep. it into it. But that's, like an obnoxious good. amount of onions. Like that sounds pretty much what I do anyways. Yeah, it's 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 on it's undefeated. And the oh, key the key no, no? I tell was me. there. I was tell there. Me. You're you're still good. I don't think I am. We're okay. No, no. we're not. We're out. We're out. We're out. We're out. I'm so embarrassed. Rip. I mean, it's gate. It's gate crash. You just gotta be better. All right, we gotta do one more. That was not. Yeah, it. I'm not going out like that. I'm not going out like no bitch. Oh, we got an achievement though. Face first. Lil and I are literally making fried rice right now with grilled chicken. Nice, Gray. That's Let's awesome. Go. Yeah, I'm like, I don't want to toot my own horn, but like, I make better fried rice than like the Chinese places. Wow. Like Chinese takeout, like your standard. Like, I'm not saying like I make better fried rice than like hibachi fried rice. Like, I just, I don't think I'm at that level, but just like the standard Chinese takeout. I think my fried rice is straight up better. I just want my whole fucking flat top just filled <laughs> with rice. Maybe one tiny little spot for a uh, an onion volcano. Other yes. than that, filled with fried rice and mad eggs in there. Just mad eggs. Yeah, I think I'm. I think I think I think I'm gonna convince Kate that it's a good idea. I get a blackstone next summer. I mean, you're gonna use it. Yeah. I need to pick MSG, pick up MSG to up my fry. Yeah, you need MSG. Like I, yeah. it's, a, it's a must. I dumped that shit in, Uncle Roger style. Love it, love it. Love that you three have a, an agreement. Yeah, we're all playing nice. Yeah, we're cracked. Big points, big points. Big points. Maybe first? I don't see how we can be beat at this point. Give me the gold, baby. Oh yeah. Um, what's your what's your protein of choice in a fried rice? I do the hibachi chicken. I do like that recipe that I was saying. I just do from, that and I just I'm dice it you, up. You, you order from a restaurant. Mm. Take out. You're going you're going chicken in a in a fried rice? I don't think if I did takeout I would, no. I'm a no. big pork fried rice. Yeah, I, yeah, I think I'd go. I go pork. I had pork tonight. Maybe shrimp. I'll fuck it up with some shrimp every once in a while. Okay. I just if I I usually get chicken in my dish, so I w I don't think I would double down on chicken. Yeah. But I if agree. I get I if I get food like if Kate wants like sushi and it's a hibachi place, like I'll get hibachi fried rice and call it a day there. Okay. You're telling me a shrimp fried this rice. <laughs> Hey, what the fuck is this game? Yeah, Count I don't know. The fruit. <laughs> what? Avoid the. Uh, yeah. What? Yeah, you this one. I've only Count. seen streamers do this. I've never done it myself. Count N. I really Avoid don't know. Avoid slime. I don't even really get. I think you go up Where's on this slime? pedestal here. Okay. Okay, two bananas. Two bananas. Three, three bananas. Banana. There's okay, you get banana, I get other fruit. There's, okay, there's two there's grapes. Two of the other thing. Three bananas, two grapes. Wait, I don't stand on the. There's two grapes, so we stand on grape. 
Bro, I have no idea. <laughs> Bro, what are we doing? Wait, do we stand on the wrong answer? Okay. No, the right answer. All right, we have three coconuts, a banana. Two banana. Two banana. Three coconuts, two banana, and a kiwi. And one green thing. Three coconuts, two banana, and a kiwi. Three coconuts, two banana, and a kiwi. It's a green thing. Stand on two, an answer. Two ban... Bro, two I don't... Banners. I died. Jay, where'd you go? I don't understand. Stand. What do you mean stand on an answer? You stand. You stand on the. the it said two. You go to the banana. Where did it now say I got, two? I got four. I got four red things. Two green things and two pears. Yeah. Help. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. A couple of pears. <laughs> Three. Was it was this? No. Pears! <laughs> you got us through. Let's go. Baby. Okay, I guys, so, I don't did know. You see the, did you see the big board? I got I saw the three at the end there. I wasn't looking at the board. I was looking at the text on the screen that said stand on the answer. <laughs> I don't I don't know. Hey, we made it through. That was ridiculous. What's up, Ryan, by the way? Hello? Brian, do you like my sweatshirt? Dude, I love how big the print came out. It's so sick. Fire sweatshirt. He didn't send me the shorts, though, yet. I think he said it's going to be in the second package. I'm pissed. I want the shorts. I want the fleece. I need them. Um, so this this one isn't really my forte. Okay, I feel like I'm okay. There's a there's a depth perception issue at some point. Actually, I, I'm gonna be honest. I don't know if I've ever done this one. Okay. <laughs> That was almost bad. Yeah, it's, it's a little aggressive. This is, this is an elimin- you can get eliminated here, right? Yeah, it's slime climb just on crack. Okay, okay. <laughs> you were wearing the oh, gray God. shorts the whole, uh, food poisoning arc. Do, do they give you PTSD now when you look at them? Does it remind you of bad times? Oh, they're your Peloton shorts. Okay. Oh, shit. Come on, Undertaker. Oh, oh, no. Oh, no. I just saw you fall. I'm okay. I'm okay. Okay. Nice and easy through the fans. Okay. No, 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 no. This, this is the part. I could see how this is uh, a bit challenging. Just stay to the left, though, right? Yeah, you stay to the left. Until you get bumped. Dude, to the I right. got. Man. I'm just getting bumped all over. Yeah, I got bumped a lot. Oh, okay, I finished. Ryan, can you believe that the Devils are going to let Jesper Brad go to arbitration? It's really unbelievable. I what are the devils doing? No, like if no, like I'm not mess like if we can't figure this shit out, man, I'm I you think this you're, one's gonna you think you're stay. Out? You think you're out? On Jesper? No, just I mean your team's really oh, no, you no, down. No, dude. no. I, I mean, I, they're re they're going above and beyond. I'm just saying, to like really, like go out of the way to not do good things. 
I don't know. They haven't really let me down. Like, I feel like not getting Goudreau and not getting Kachuk in the long run is actually going to be good. I know that sounds crazy, but I truly feel like we're that's Jay. not where we're heading. Jay. Jay. If we got Matthew Kachuk, we would have had to give up Jack Hughes and Dougie Hamilton. And a first. That's fucking bonkers. He's not that. Like the 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 Dougie Hamilton. The Panthers got fleeced. Dougie. What about him? I know that's your guy, but come on. You th you would have given up Jack Hughes, Dougie Hamilton, and a first for for Matthew Kachuk. Nobody with a Hughes last name is gonna leave my team first and foremost. But that's Dougie what I'm saying. Hamilton. I mean, we're not putting the future in Dougie Hamilton, are we? He's no, he's not our future, but he's like a he's a cornerstone of our defense. Wait, can we? There's no strategy to. to I don't this know what game, this is. Right? I don't know. What this you is. just run around and hope that you make it. I mean, you give Jesper Rat 6.4 million. I, you don't even blink an eye. I don't know what the what would it were like. Supposedly our oh fuck, I died. You're out. Yeah. Will you pay attention? Stop thinking about Dougie Hamilton, dude. No, the. I got freaking. I got juked. Like they, they broke the thing before. Like I, while I was midair, I couldn't change. I believe in you. Yeah, I gotta be honest. I'm probably. You're good. You're here. good. You're good. You're good. Uh, fuck off, you're good. You're man. good. You're good. You're good. No! Oh! Wait. It was. It, it's not us. It's not us. It's the other guy. It's the other guy. Oh he God. fucking hit me out. He threw such a good block. That was close. He threw such a good block, dude. Oh. Well, that was a couple second places. That was a third place. We just never, always the bridesmaid, always the queen, never. Yep. Always yep, the. Yep, yep, yep. Always the groomsman, never the groom. <sighs> That's unfortunate. Gee whiz. Well, GG's. Gee whiz and GG's. It's past my bedtime. Yeah, it happens. I'm going to go cry about Jesper Bratt and fall asleep. All right. <laughs> Think about Dougie Hamilton. It'll make everything a lot better. I usually do. I'm out on Doug. I don't know why you're so low on Dougie Hamilton. He's a fine defenseman. And, you know, it's I, I'm, I'm okay if we were to wheel and deal him, but I'm not okay with getting rid of Jack Hughes on any and under any circumstance. And the, with what the Panthers gave up for Kachuk, we would have had to have lost Hughes because he's our Jonathan Huberdeau level player. But you, you can't say that there wasn't a botching of some sort with the Goudreau situation. There had to have been. From his interview, there was no botching. It's bullshit. It doesn't matter. He was a devil until the Columbus Blue Jackets called with a better offer. And for some reason, he wanted to go there. I don't, I can't, we can't change that. That's not on us. You had to think, like LeBron said he was going to come to the Knicks. And then, and, and then he came out and said a few years later, like they fucking botched the, the pitch. Well, if it's Johnny the same comes thing. out. No. If Johnny comes out and says it, then maybe, but. Too good of a dude. Yeah, I don't think he'll go there. Man, he could have been yours. That's all right. All we'll right, GG's. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye. All right, guys. That is going to do it. Thank you guys so much for hanging out. <clears throat> when we see you tomorrow, 7 o'clock. I'm pretty much going to change my schedule back to night streams. Uh, day streams just kind of ain't it for, for us here. Um, so I think we're just going to go back to 7 o'clock starts, kind of like where we laid the foundation and groundwork for the stream years and years ago. I think we just stick with the 7 o'clock streams. Um, probably five days a week type deal. Uh, so, yeah, I'll get a more, like, somewhat solid schedule together. But, yeah, tomorrow, 7 o'clock, especially tomorrow, because I actually have plans to go out to lunch with my dad because it's his birthday. So, yeah, definitely 7 o'clock tomorrow night stream. But thank you guys so much for hanging out. Appreciate all the continued support with the resubs, new subs, lurks, chats, hangs, gifted subs, bits, donos. 
Uh, thank you guys for all the support. All the new followers. Hope to see you in a future stream. And, uh, yeah, we'll see you guys tomorrow. See you, Gray. Bye, Lukey. Sweet roll. Serenity. Adios, Grassy P. Good night. See you, Ryan. Take care. Thanks for hanging out. <clears throat> see you, Simpara. Adios. Good night, Maddie. Everybody, I will see you guys tomorrow. Okay? Until next time. Stay safe, stay up, and peace. <laughs>